Oh my God, we made it. Sister, we made it. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, we almost did not make it today. We almost did not make it. We were having testicle yeah. struggles, difficulties, testicle difficulties. Uh, sweated, <laughs> fell oh. down. Uh -huh. oh, the girls. At the last minute, we made some changes at the last minute, but you know what? Here we are. We pulled through. We came through. I want to publicly apologize to everyone because we're running a little behind, and it's mostly my fault because uh, the lady Joella, she's been getting ready for a minute. <laughs> okay, let me do the official. Oh, my phone fell. Let me do the official introduction. I hope y'all don't get the top of this head because this hair is destroyed from the back. <laughs> <laughs> what is the tea, everybody? What is the tea, everybody? This is your girl, your BBW disco girl, the woman of a thousand faces, and the Emmy Award winning doll, Miss Luscious Massacre, is here. And I am here with the kitty cat that loves to scratch, <laughs> Tommy Matola of the drag industry. And she also happens to be the voice of drag. The Lady Joel Tapas is here. Hi. Sister, how are you feeling? A lot of emotions, honestly. Oh, <laughs> why? Why so many emotions? I think, we, you know, it's dragged me to love, and I don't want to drag you to sadness. So <laughs> we'll save it for tomorrow's episode. Oh, my God. No, we, listen, today, should we, we've been working on this, and we, this is officially episode two of our YouTube show, Drag Me to Love. Um, on episode one, we had like five contestants. We were bringing people on. And, you know, it's all fun and games. But in reality, we really do want to help people find some, yeah, some love. We do. We really do. And you um, too. We got to find you some love. Well, we need to find you some love too. Has yeah. anybody split into the DMs? Because you were officially on the record, I want to say, you were contestant number one on Drag Me to Love. Have you found, has anyone slid into the DMs? Nobody slid into my DMs, but maybe slid into the VR. Oh. Uh huh. So they, did, they, they, did, they did slide into the VR for you. I, well, first of all, I want to thank y'all who joined me in VR this week. It was very fun getting to know all y'all, and especially the trade that's been coming, the straight trade from your channel has definitely found me and I, I even made a friend today that's a straight man that watched because of his girlfriend and now can, i don't think he's with her but continues to watch us because he just <laughs> like to laugh i think his name was mr cheeseburger uh, i forgot his name already but it was something like that oh my god he was really cool. The lady Charles, I, I see people in the comments are saying that they would the, that they want to love us, they want to date us. If you really li listen, we are the hosts of the show. We are trying to help you who's watching find love. But if you want to help us find, if you, if you think you you can you can find love with us, baby, slide up in the DMs. But be for real because a lot of these people, a lot of these boys, a lot of these men, they be hitting us up, but they be playing games with the girls. Don't play with yeah. our emotions. No. Don't play with our emotions because we wear our heart on our sleeves and we're, we're for real when we say we, we're really looking for love out there. Yeah. We're very real. Okay, I want to play the girls because officially everyone's coming on. I was waiting for everyone to come on. Let, let's let's wait for everyone to come on before we officially start the show. I, I do want to say, um, let's get into today's first segment, honey, and we call this Makeup blast. Tell me, sister, what did you blast your face with today? <laughs> so I couldn't find my black lipstick. So what I did use was the one size black liner, eyeliner, and I just rubbed it on my lips with a little bit of purple Hank and Henry uh, liquid lip. And then I paired it with the uh, dollar TJ Maxx lip gloss. Mm -hmm. And on the eyes is the Pro Pigment Palette, the blue one from Nervina. I'm very excited to shake the girls up because this is a throwback from literally the beginning of when I started doing YouTube. This takes me back. This mm -hmm. takes me all the way back. And I pulled it out because I remember I was like, I want a pink, but I want a pink that's really going to pop and give me that Punanti pink that I love. So I ended up pulling out. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I ended up. This took me back to the to the to the good old beauty community days, the drag days when the girls we were trying out all this mug, 
uh, I use the Live Such Rag. Look at how destroyed this palette is because I really use <laughs> it. I really, I, I've gone in on all the colors. Um, the Live Such Rag, I don't even know if this palette still exists. I know that Manny released uh, like a part two. It was called Live Such Rag Facelift. Um, and we, we, I'm, I'm, you guys, I, I still live for it. It still works. I, that makeup at this point is probably like three, four years old, but oh. she still gives. She's still slaying. She's still slaying. She's still officially slaying. Okay, look, we're gonna we're gonna get into the show. I'm gonna play uh, Joella. While I was doing my makeup, we were Facetiming Kiki, and and this woman came up with an entire song to um, <laughs> for the show. So I officially want to introduce the show. Introduce. It's not, uh, it's not a song. The, the it's, track. it's a track. It's a little intro track <laughs> for Drag Me to Love, the official YouTube show. We need to we need to figure out how to make this look all professional. And I have to warn you, it's off key because my headphones would not work. So I had to guess <laughs> the, the the music on what it was. But we'll fix it. Right now, you yeah. just get the little down. Woman is here, and officially, this is Drag Me to Love episode two. <laughs> Drag me to love. <laughs> Girl, the little gunshot is what really got me. The little gunshot at the end is what really made it feel like true love to me. Because you know what? It is dangerous to find love out there. You really could get shot by a train. It's the, no, it's the Cupid with the little arrow. <laughs> He got your ass. <laughs> he got you. Okay, let me give some shout-outs before I introduce our first guest. This this guest is actually not going to be a contestant today, but he was a contestant on last week's episode, and he has some tea. He said, Luscious, I want to come on so I can spill a little tea for the girls. Yes. So I'm excited to bring him on. But very, very, very quickly, let me give some shout-outs. We have Miss Vanya Tejada, honey. Miss Vanya Tejada. And she said, the dolls are looking so gorgeous tonight. So much love to you both. Thank, thank you, Miss Vanya. Ew. Thank you, Miss Vanya, in the house. We also have Miss Tennyson 52, Miss Tennyson 52 coming through, and she said, ladies, the hair and the mug. Wow. Talk about queer excellence. I have a question for the ladies. What do you think of the Renaissance Tour and Blue Ivy? People online are really coming for poor Blue and B. Um, well, first of all, thank you. I, I've, I, I live for Beyonce. I think she's you know, I feel like Beyonce is giving the five, six, seven, eight at this point. She's already established. <laughs> she doesn't need to do too much. She said, baby, I'm just going to come out here and do a little, you know, move around a little bit. And like, right. She just does a little. And she said, you know what? I'm going to bring my daughter because my daughter, she got the, the, the youth. She got the strength. Let me bring out Miss Blue Ivy to come out here. And, you know, you got to remember, Blue Ivy's a child. She's she's coming in. And, you know, it's a, it. But you know what? Let me tell you, by the time that little girl is 15, 16, 17 years old, she's going to be able to buck and give you a full performance. <laughs> Mama got her in training already. Honey, can you imagine being able to get, get uh, your 11, 12, 13 years old? I don't know how old that child is, but you're already in training on, on, on the world stage, literally. By the time she's an adult, she's going to be giving it to the children. Yes. She's getting she's getting that real training, honey. We got to give a shout out to Miss Frenchie, San Francisco, Miss Frenchie's, and she says, Joella, what's your schedule for the VR fantasy? Uh, usually I get on really late at night because that's my free time, so I'm usually on from twelve to six in the morning, and then I stay awake and I work, and I get off around. Oh my god. Mm, five in the afternoon and then I take a nap and then I'm up and now then in makeup. I really don't sleep anymore. So the, I just have to get used. That's why I sleep in my chair. That's why I sleep everywhere. <laughs> we were we were on a YouTube live earlier with Mr. Isabel Brooks and you fell asleep. I did. She <laughs> I could hear her snoring a little bit. Shout out to Miss Isaac Santiago. Miss Isaac Santiago. And she said, you ladies look absolutely gorgeous tonight, giving real Tejana drag. And I'm fully living. Give a little gay shout out to me and my husband. Shout out to Miss Isaac Santiago and her little gay husband in the house. We also have Miss Natalie T. Miss Natalie T. She says, Joella is in her spice era and we love it. 
The spice is here. One final shout out really quick before we introduce this next person, just really quickly. Miss Salvador Badio Rio. She said, I love the big Texas hair. Can hide food in there. Oh, honey, there's food hidden in here. There's there's some toys. I have a I have some I have a gun. I have some pepper spray. <laughs> I have a bat. She's ready for everything. I feel like I just want to say I I love this look, but this is so out of my comfort zone. Joella knows when I get in drag, I paint big, I paint huge, I paint hard. Today I was gonna wear a, a little cross dresser wig, and Joella said, "Luscious, put on some drag hair." Today it's drag me to love. We need to be all up in drag. So at the last moment, I popped on a little drag hat. I, <laughs> it, I feel very out of my comfort zone because I don't do this little, like, this gives me Texas America cross dresser. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm doing the ch Texas America cross dresser uh, Barbie doll fantasy. But you know what? I'm going to sell it because I'm, I'm what? I'm a professional BBW woman. But just know that this is going to be a rare appearance because the next time I come on Drag Me to Love, I'm going to be done. And the gonna... girl officially from TLC, the scouting director for um, talent, said that they're specifically looking at us tonight to pitch our show for TLC. So okay, so Miss TLC, slide up in the DMs, Miss TLC, because they're we're looking at us right now. And they're seeing what we do, and they're getting to know what everyone we're doing. who's watching this video. Please, please, please. I know, I know which I, I'm watching right here with you on my phone. If you can, please make sure you hit the little X right now, where in in the middle of the screen where the chat is, and then so you can exit the chat, and then you're gonna see the little like button. Press the little like button so you can show your support because the more likes that we get, the more that this show will get recommended by YouTube so more and more people can come and they can view the show. And then right under the likes, you can come back to the live chat and you'll be able to come and access the chat again. Let's bring in our first guest tonight. He's not a contestant on the show, but this man, he was on episode one of Drag Me To Love. Maybe in the future, if he doesn't really find love, we'll bring him back on a future episode. But tonight he wanted to come on and really, I want we want to follow up and see where are they now? You know that show 600 Pound Live? <laughs> Where are they now? You know how they come back in the future and they see what really happened. Did she get? Did she gain all the weight back, or <laughs> is she still the skinny doll? Well, we're about to find out right here. Um, our very first guest, Mr. Joseph Fleming. Ah, the <laughs> smile. Oh, hey, ladies, you guys look beautiful tonight. Oh my God, so do you? How are you? I'm doing well. <sighs> Oh my God, Mr. Joseph, how has your life changed ever since you were on episode one <laughs> of Drag Me to Love? Do you feel the fantasy? Have men been sliding up in the DMs? We have had lots of messages and lots of follow requests, yes. Ooh. So I wanna thank you ladies. Um, it's been a lot, yeah. So I have a few pieces of uh, updates. So we talked about Manny on the live. <gasps> no. Saw, saw him that next night. At no. Five. Yep. No. Um, was there yeah, a kiss involved or numbers exchanged? No, no, no. Uh, we exchanged information, but um, no, nothing else happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, but did you, did you want to kiss him, though? He, look, oh, he looks even better in person, yeah. What about the cheeks? Oh. Did you did you look at the cheeks? Oh, yes, I watched him walk away. Did you see that ass? Was it I good? I watched him walk away, yes. <laughs> you Where know, he like is not only a beautiful person, but he's a rich man. Oh <laughs> well, that that that's that's not the most important thing. It's oh. not. But I want to know if you this are worthy still for trying Manny. to sell herself to no, Manny. No, no. <laughs> I want to know if you are worthy for Manny because I don't want no scrub with Miss Manny. Okay, not a scrub over here. Okay, oh. so I need to know your qualifications. Sell yourself to me so that way I can feel good about me. No, well, listen, Joella, he already sold himself to us. We should ask more deep, in-depth questions okay. about okay. him and how he treats his man in the bedroom. So if the man wanted you, if Manny says, I'm into water sports, and it, it, it just gets me going, <laughs> and he says, and he's telling you this while you're brushing your teeth and he's in the shower. <laughs> Will you stop brushing? Will it? you turn on the water fountain? And will you turn on his water fountain? If I'm in a relationship with someone and I'm in love with them, I would be open to trying whatever they're into. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that leaves a very open, open field. That's a yeah. very open field. 
the lush you're you're next okay joseph tell me this because i you know i know manny okay manny she's she can be a, a little versatile queen. She can be top. She can be bottom, you know, depending on the moment, depending on the fantasy. But for, I'll speak for me. I love a man who, when it's time to, like, sometimes the girls get in the mood and they, I want a man to make me, like, to just destroy me and make me scream. Or do you, do you, when you're with your man, do you, are, are you the, do you turn into the destroyer? Do you really go in and into pound town and will you, will you be able to make him scream? Oh yes, we we can arrange that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Cool. Joseph Fleming, Fleming, I need to know: Are you a Vienna sausage? Are you an eggplant? Are you a, are you, or are you an anaconda snake? Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Not I'm, the first one. I'll he's say he's that. a combination of everything, sister. I'm not definitely the not one. the first one. Okay, people in the comments, leave your emojis of what you think he is. Eggplant, snake, or uh, weenie. Yeah. I, think there's so, I think there's someone in the chat that has that knows. <gasps> no. There's someone in the chat that already knows what it, what you're giving? You, oh, no, I'm trying to see. I gotta Wait, you've that. already hooked up with a, 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 a chatter? I told somebody that I'm friends with, yeah, that about, about me being on the show, so they're probably watching. You told somebody that you were a friend. I don't know how Manny's going to feel about this. I, I feel some type of pain, you well, know. Okay, let's focus. Let's let's focus back on the love section. Okay, <laughs> I'm over here you trying know, to break him up. Paint, You're paint trying the, to again. Joseph, paint the fantasy for me. What would you? What would your be, be your ideal perfect date for you to take Manny on? <gasps> oh, well, I I I don't know him that well, so I don't know what his interests are. I mean, I want him to be centered around what like he's into. Oh, um, what, what would be your ideal first date? I don't know. We'd probably go like do something like artistic. I don't know. Maybe go like to like <laughs> make a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Not go make a pot, girl. Would you go like to? Would you like to go to like the beach? Maybe take a horse ride or. That sounds fun. But he said artistic. That's that's not artistic. We could do that too. Would you like to body paint and roll yourself on canvas? That's naked? a great way to get to know somebody. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe maybe you can go like shoot some paintballs and and start shooting each other. That'd be cool. That would probably leave some marks though. <laughs> Battling already on the first date. Oh, <laughs> but, honey, you might as well know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Mr. Joseph, thank you so much for your tea. We can't wait to follow up and and figure out. Do Do you know roughly an estimate? How many DMs did you get? Did you get more than ten? Oh yeah, more than ten. Oh. I'd say like. <laughs> at least, at least like fifty people probably requested to follow me. No, oh. are you kidding? And a lot of them were the dolls. <gasps> and you're still open to the dolls too. I mean, we're 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 we don't discriminate. Okay, okay. Everybody, Mr. Joseph Fleming, if you want to slide into the DMs, he still he still has his options open. He's still dating, uh, but just know that you're competing with Manny MUA, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> The original beauty The girl. original girl. Thank you. Okay, Miss Joseph, thank you so much for joining us. We'll bring you back on a future episode if you can't find no love, baby. All right, love you guys. Bye. Bye, baby. Okay. Oh, my God. The tea, honey. The tea. Something tells me Joseph is going to have some fun with all them DMs, baby. Something tells me Manny's not going to be walking for a good week. I love that he said, baby, I will make him scream. I know, and I believe it. I felt the vibes were there. I felt it 100%. Just leave him leaking. That's what I want. Just leak. <laughs> Wreck me and leave me leak. I want to be, I want to leak. I want a leaky faucet. Okay. Officially, we're moving on. This is going to be contestant number one on Drag Me to Love. Mr. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Brandon Muniz. <gasps> Hi! Oh, oh my oh, God! Oh. <laughs> this woman is over here wearing red lipstick, and I am living. I love it. Luscious. I have to begin to say, I am honored oh. to be here with the Emmy Award-winning makeup artist, oh. Oh, oh. the eater of the trade. Oh, the turn. Joella Puss. The voice of drag oh. and the termite. Yes, I am. Me, 
Who <laughs> knows all the tea about us? Okay, Miss Brandon, where are you from? How old are you, and where are you calling us? I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm 21. Ooh. Oh, oh you how old are you? 21. <gasps> oh my God, Miss Brandon, have you ever been in love? <gasps> she had a little. She had a little moment. <gasps> she had a little moment. Did they break your heart? Sort of. Did he leave you leaking? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. He okay. Did. I had to. Girl, I traveled out of Texas for that one. No. Was, no, you had to travel? I traveled out of Texas. It was a whole story because, okay, to give you a quick little rundown, I'm putting my whole business out there, but to give you the whole, the exclusive, let's just, I'm giving you the exclusive. Yeah, let's see exclusive. Come on, I'll baby. Give you the exclusive. We met in Grinder. We met in Grinder. It was a, a whole like a whole little thing where we met in Grinder. <laughs> we so met in Grinder, and I picked him up because he wasn't from here. And this is all true. I picked him up because he wasn't he wasn't from here. And then like I took him to like the park, and then like we and then things from there we went from we went to the video, we went to the booth, and then. And then I took him all the way back home. And then, like, we kept in contact. Is your name Joella Puss? This sounds like, <laughs> no. like, then, this sounds like on, Joella's on, story on, right hold now. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Be with this, man. We kept, we, kept, we kept in contact. We kept in contact. We kept in contact. So, and, this, so this man on Grinder was... Uh, hold on. Or hold you on. met... Or you, like... Ah, no... I need to take my name out because y'all can't look at my name. <gasps> Here we go now. The witness, put yourself back in the witness protection program. How can I put myself into the witness protection Let program? Me, okay, what name? What name do you want me to give you, baby? What name do you want me to give? La you? Chica Loca, two thousand two. Okay, let me call her La Chica Enferma, two thousand two. <laughs> this woman is not well. This woman is clearly not well. Okay, I now Miss well. Chica Enferma, tell me. So this sounds like trade, baby. This sounds like this sounds like a piece of trade. Okay, you were okay, not okay, 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 okay. And then, <laughs> and then, so we kept the contact, right? And then, and then, um, we kept the contact. And then he would like call me. He would call me on Facetime. He'd be like, "Oh, I like you," and this and that. Did and he, then, let you, what I, we want to know the, the 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 details. Did he let you have it at the park? He let you have it at the park. And did he let you have it at the bookstore too? He let you have it at the bookstore. How old are you, Chica Enferma? 21. Okay. <laughs> Chica Enferma. You're 21. So did you do it in the, the truck or the car or did you go to the bathroom? In the, the swing. Park? Were you in the swing? Were you in the in the, in, in the slide? Okay, so like in the park. Okay, so we went to the park. And uh, so we went to the park and uh, it's because it was like very romantic. Honey, listen, release your truth. Don't be shy. Ah, Tell no, so Tell me. Out. This is a whole internet. Baby, have the balls. Okay. Release okay, the okay, crack okay, in. Okay, okay, okay. Were they up? Birthday party. We went to the park and then so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit of play. And so I showed him the city and he was like, wow, the city looks so beautiful and your eyes look so beautiful. And I was Wait, like- Was this man from Mexico? Did he cross over? was Colombian and he was six foot. Oh, the, okay. So, but did you bring him from Colombia, bitch? No, girl, he came here to visit his cousin. And so he was on Grindr, he was trying to get the trade. Oh, so, okay, so he let you have. He, he let, let me have it. Okay, he let me have it. Had my, uh, did, did, when he broke up with you, did you start crying? It's because honestly, it's been on and off, and you know what? I'm done. Okay, so she's done. So I'm do, done, do, and do, that's why I'm here today to end it, to end it oh. because I am tired of it. Because you know what? He he said he had his little moment because he texted me saying, "Oh, um, oh, I I I have." I'm not gonna put his business out there, but he had a little scare. And so I was like, I tried making like, you know, <laughs> I tried, I tried Did you to scare make him, girl? Did you scare him? No, he had a scare, but like over there, That's like he had a scare over there. So like this was after, this happened in January and we've kept, kept in contact. Like we're already in June. Honey, don't leave us. Did he have a little scare from Freddy Krueger or is it an STD? 
I think I don't know what it is. This is his business. He hasn't really told me, and that's why I'm done because I'm like, Baby, we don't know this man. We don't know this man. You can tell yeah. him me. We don't know this man. No, no. no, she is. I'm, no I can't. Speak. Okay, Miss Chica Enferma, tell me what kind of man are you looking for? Because clearly you look you like trash men. So what? <laughs> no, Lush what is, no, what I need an upgrade. I, Lush is, I need an upgrade, and I'm tired of it because I'm upgrading my life. Oh. Okay, she wants to upgrade. What kind of man do you want? Tell us. Right here, this is your moment. He's watching right now. He's watching. He's out here. He's one of our viewers. Your your soulmate is out there. Tell us, what kind of man are you looking for? I need a provider. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's got to he's got to feed you. He's got to pay the bills. Pay the well, cable. I can't. I can feed him. Huh? I can feed him. Okay. So, so you want to be the top, or you want to be the bottom? Well, I mean, she's it's... been having her moments too. Oh, she's okay. been climbing, like you said, Lushy, she's been climbing the rock. The okay. so we're representing for the feminine tops out there. A little bit. Okay, we live. So you need him to buy you the groceries, but you'll cook the food. What do you like yes, to cook? I know what how to cook. You... Okay, what do you like to cook, baby? What are you gonna cook for this man? What am I gonna cook? Um well, I know how to cook enchiladas. Hey. Uh, chelas rojas, oh. chelas verdes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What else, baby? Do you know? Do you know how to cook some chicken Alfredo? Hit me up in the DMs, Enferma. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yo lo pues porque me debes, me debes a mí, me debes, me debes mi. Te debes mi dinero. Te debes mi lipstick. Me debes mi lipstick, yo lo pues. I was in the live, yo lo pues. Me debes mi lipstick. Damn, call her, call her, call her. No, I got everybody's address. I told them. Ah, no, just kidding, Joella. Just okay. kidding. Okay. ¿Sabes cocinar es espagueti verde es con chicken chipotle? Ah, uh, ese sí no sé. I know. Pero entonces no sabes cocinar. She don't know no, how to cook. No, si se cocina, si se cocina. Okay, what else? Uh, what else? Do you know how to cook some mole, bitch? Some mole with arroz? Mole. Uh, but it's a little too intense. That okay. one's real. Okay, this woman, but, this woman is scaring me. What about rice? ¿Sabes cocinar arroz? Sí, rice is it. I'm scared for this rice. Something tells Why? me. Why? Luscious, don't be scared. Funny in its spices. Okay, Joella, what do you think about this woman? Do you think this woman is ready for I love? I think this woman needs to be locked up in prison. <gasps> no. <laughs> Set free out in Austin, Texas. I'm worried about all the people. Yeah. And we need a lot. We need to. We need to put some uh, caution tape on the and at the park with this woman. So, <laughs> there is no, there no. to, to, to to deal with this uh, enferma person. Right. <laughs> okay. Now tell us, chica enferma, sell yourself because this your soulmate is watching right now and he he's out there, and the more he watches, by the second he's falling in love with you. So tell, sell yourself. This is your moment. This is like RuPaul's Drag Race, bitch. This is a lip sync for your life. One, two, three. Sell yourself. Why should he slide into your DMs? Go. <laughs> Come slide into my DMs because I can be everything for you. I can give you the world. I can give you everything you need. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, she, she don't know. She's this, a dog. This woman said she don't know why you should fall in love with her, but, but just know it. that you will give it to you. Ah! Just know that you are, and then you might end this up with This woman is not well. Yeah. This woman is clearly not well. SOS, someone help me. Call call the ambulance. Call the fire department. This woman needs help, baby. What, can you send us your location so we can send the paramedics? No. And now I know what that meant. Help me. No. <laughs> Okay, Miss uh, Chica Enferma, really quickly before we push you out, what are you wearing on your lip? I am wearing Dior. Oh, this woman is delusional. This woman is. This, this that, woman I have a quick question. To pay her bills. <laughs> how's my makeup coming from the Emmy Award winning? How's my makeup? But you know what? I live for it. You li you have to live your life in delusion because if you're not in delusion, you are in, you are in confusion. And you have to, listen, this woman wants a man that's going to pay her bills, buy her groceries, 
and she's gonna and give her a little pocket change so she can buy the Dior makeup because she likes Dior. She likes that expensive stuff, and I'm here for it. Okay, Ms. Chica Enferma, uh, thank you so much for joining us today, baby. I have faith that the man that is out there for you, he's watching this video, and he's going to slide up in the DMs. And he, if he slides up in the DMs, baby, make sure you work on your answer because you need to give more than I don't oh, know. Oh, this is a little extra. <laughs> you need to give a little extra. Okay. That's mm -hmm. your. Mm -hmm. That's your. Your for you. He's selling. I'm telling you, I know how to sell the fantasy. That's Dior from La Pulga. Miss Chica Joela, ya no te voy a vender tu lipstick en el en el Sephora. Ya no te lo voy a vender. It's authentic. That lady, she is. She will find love, and she and and you know what? If she don't find love, she's gonna find some trade. If she don't find love, she's going to find a piece of train. Okay, we're moving it right along. We got to keep it moving because we have a lot of contestants on the line. This contestant, okay, here we go. Contestant, what number are we at? Contestant number two? Contestant number two, let's bring on Mr. Salvador. <gasps> hey, guy. Hey, girls. Oh. <laughs> I love your hair. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, oh, baby. What, okay, what's your name? Hey, Joelle uh, is getting how excited. old are you, and where are you calling from, baby? Uh, yeah, I'm Sal. I'm 30 years old, and I live in San Diego. Oh, my San Diego, California. Yes. Let me tell you why you should pick me. Uh, <laughs> educated, great job. Uh, income is lovely. Um, I have a big booty. Oh, I do I, love a big booty. I love to eat. <laughs> And I would feed you so, so, so good. And you know okay. what? At night, I'm going to make sure I take care of you. I'm going to rub your body with butter. I'm going to rub you in like a turkey. I love massages. I love food. And <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> I'm sorry, but he's hot. God damn. <laughs> you love okay, Mr. Before we even get into the into the, into the the fantasy, what did you blast your face with? Because you, you're, you're giving like you're wearing either a little bit of foundation, a little bit of powder, concealer, or skincare. Don't be shy. This is a homosexual channel. What are you wearing on your face? What did you blast yourself with today? Because you look good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, so I do a whole skincare regimen, and then I do a little bit of concealer for the blemishes. Uh, I don't remember what I use, but yeah. Oh my! Okay, everyone in the comments are saying that you are trade. Do you identify with trade? Do you feel like you are a piece of trade? Yeah, he knows it. No, I mean I think I'm decent looking, but like growing up, I was never known for my looks. It was always oh. like my brain, my academics. My brother was the photogenic one. Um, oh. And so it wasn't until you like, hate I, your brother. You hate your brother for it. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's unpack that. How do you really feel about your brother being the pretty one at first? <laughs> I mean, at the time, I didn't like it because my okay. they'd be like, "Oh, your brother's the photogenic one," and I'm like, "Okay, well then, I guess I'll be the smart one." So I got a PhD in aerospace engineering. <laughs> Oh, oh, um, this man got Monty. This man got Monty in education. Um, but it wasn't yeah. until like I came out and started working out that then I started getting like attention for my looks and stuff. And then also I grew up always fluctuating in weight, like being super chubby and then you know not chubby and then chubby again. So oh. I feel like I'm in an inner chubby guy inside. So oh, on the yeah. outside, inside, but on the outside. You're <laughs> You, do you feel do you need to take ownership? You are trade. You're a piece of trade. I'm the type of guy he is, and he's perfect. This is the type of guy that when he looks in the mirror, he sees a fat man, and he's always going to be a fat man. He doesn't realize his potential and how beautiful he is. He doesn't know his whole power. And how do we, how do we help him? Whole power or whole power or whole power? Are you, okay, <laughs> are, you, are you the kind of man that you go to the top of the mountain or do you go to the bottom of the gutter? Uh, so it's fluctuated over the years, but mm -hmm. I would say right now I like to be in the middle of the mountain. I oh. tend to gravitate towards the top because of my big package and I love a good oh. <laughs> But, but, but oh, no. I enjoy both depending on the person and my mood and all that. So. Oh, are you single or are you married right now? I'm very single. <laughs> really? Do you have, do you have like friends with benefits that keep you satisfied? Uh, 
here and there I've done some stuff, but nothing super regular. You know, you, but you don't have like a regular that you're like, oh, baby, I need some. Come on over. Come on over tomorrow. Come on over tonight. I mean, yeah, I have people on call, but I don't really meet up with them regularly. So, uh, okay. <laughs> how many? How many do you have on rotation on the phone? <laughs> I mean, very, uh, there's always people crazy. interested. There's always people interested, but um, okay. yeah, I've, I've been low key pretty lately. So, yeah. Okay. Do you prefer to get the peach licked, or do you prefer them to suck on the Oscar Mayer? I prefer them. I mean, I enjoy both, but I prefer them to suck on the Oscar Mayer. <laughs> the Oscar Mayer hot dog. You yes. a turtle? Are you? Listen, a... I'm a woman. I'm a bottom woman, and I I, I choose Oscar Mayer too. <laughs> are you a turtle? Or are you not a turtle? Oh, definitely a turtle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We love a turtle on this channel. We love a turtle. A tortoise. Oh. Oh. oh my God. We love the turtle tortoise fantasy on this channel. We love it so much. I got to go. I gotta... Okay, now, um, uh, Salvador, right? Yes. Salvador, baby, tell me, how, how old are you again? 30. Oh, that's a good age. That's a good age. You're you're not a not not yet a girl, but not yet a woman. You're right in the middle. <laughs> you're right in the middle. Yeah. And Salvador, when you okay, tell us what kind of man, woman, or creature are you looking for? Uh, so I like a person that is respectful and kind. Oh, um, that. Uh, likes to please, but be pleased. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, just someone that's kind, that respects boundaries, um, that makes what me your comfortable. What's your boundary? What are some boundaries for you? Um. Well, I I like my alone time. So, like, someone that's not like looking to be with me twenty four seven because I'm busy and I I like to be by myself. But then. I also like to spend time with them, but them not like expecting to be with me twenty four seven. Okay, so you, so you know. if you had fungus on his feet, <laughs> would you still date him? Not ask, asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Um, well, I love the lower body, so that's like the peach, uh -huh. the legs, and even the feet. So that might not. That might be a deal, but yeah, that I, that you would be hard to get over. But doctor, what if you, what if he, he meets all your qualifications? Don't leave him because of the fungus. He can't help it. Oh, right? I mean, if I he got it while fungus. I was, if he got it while I was in the relationship with them, yeah, I would not leave them. I would help okay. them get it treated. You would take him to the doctor, make sure he gets some of that fungal cream. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay, I like you again. I love that. I love that. And then massage their feet once they're fully healed. Okay, Salvador. Are, okay, Salvador. What are some of your pet peeves? Like things that you're just like this annoys me, and I can't deal with this. Hmm. Mm, like super clingy, I guess. Like. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, I would say you tend to get boys that are like super clingy, and they don't want to leave you alone. They become obsessed. Uh, I notice that more on, like, the really young people, like, the really young ones. Like, I, I personally don't like to go for, like, to date super young. I prefer someone, like, my age or older, like, you know, that has their stuff together. Um, but, yeah, when I have been with, like, on the younger side, like, yeah, they tend to, like, be super clingy. And I'm like, no. And, and annoying. It gets on your nerves. A little, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Um... Yeah, hygiene too. Like if someone's not hygienic, that that would be. <laughs> Joella, <laughs> you're out. <laughs> Honey, we just keep. No, I heard she scrubs. She scrubs. Has a mirror. In the okay, mask. let's talk about it. Have you ever? Are you into? Have you ever been with a big person? I have. Yeah. Um, here and there. I mean, I'm I'm pretty open in terms of uh, like body type, like. Smooth, hairy, bigger, average body. Oh, um, and then also depends. Like, there's some people that are, like, super ripped. Like, because I used to live in L.A. And there's a lot of, like, really good-looking people. But that doesn't mean you have the chemistry, right, in bed or outside of bed. <laughs> I mean, 
Or... Sorry, I'm laughing because the girls are saying, Joella, we might need to send you to the doctor, Joella. <laughs> Don't worry, it's coming out. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just this outed woman, myself. This woman is not well. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Oh, I don't know how to have to. An independent man who's not obsessive, maybe your age, a little bit older, independent, got some money. You need him to have some his own money, right? Because you're not trying to be a sugar daddy. Yeah, I'm not like to take care of anyone, but I also don't need to be taken care of either. So. Oh, okay, okay, well, baby. This this seems like a very eligible bachelor, ladies and gentlemen, and creatures out there. If you guys are interested for Mr. Salvador, please slide into the DM. Now, Salvador, tell us. This is your opportunity to sell yourself. Your 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 soulmate, the love of your life is out there watching. It might be Joella, but she's right here. Sell yourself and tell <laughs> us. This is like a lip sync for your life. Let us know why should you sell yourself to the mask. <laughs> Can I take off my pants? Just kidding. Wait, 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 no. Can you please get up and give us a little turn or twirl, a little twirl, please? <laughs> oh, I have a feeling he has cakes. I just feel it in my bones. Don't, don't play with us. Don't tease us. Oh. oh. Matt, are you oh. looking at this? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Um. This is your opportunity. Honey, if you <laughs> Start off. Do what you got to do. Sell yourself so you can win the pageant. Okay, this is your chance. <laughs> a good chance. For the drag, drag me to love pageant. This is contestant number three, Salvador. Sell yourself. Tell us why. They show it. Your DMs. I uh, have a really good heart. I'm kind. Um, I'm smart. I'm intelligent. Uh, not only academic-wise, but I like to work on myself and uh, personal growth, so... I would like to think I'm emotionally aware and intelligent. Um, I uh, have a big package. <laughs> uh, I love to please and get pleased. I promise we won't share it. <laughs> yeah, send it to me in the DM. I'll send it to you. me and then send it to me. No, don't send it to Joella. Send it to me. Send it to me and how tall are you? <laughs> okay. How tall are you? How tall am I? Uh, five nine. Oh, we're perfect for each other. So not too short. Not I'm too five tall. three, so it's gonna be pretty. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, this woman! Yo, this is is this, this turned into an episode of Little Women at Lamp House? <laughs> is this after they amputate your legs? <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? He he just read you. He said this is gonna be well. Once they amputate your legs, you'll be five three. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, they already. Girl, How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you were fell. I love you guys. Oh my God, Salvador, you are gorgeous. Stop. Release the little fat kid that's inside of you. Because let me tell you, baby, you are stunning. You're gorgeous. And any man you go up to, one man is going to say yes, baby. He's going to want. He's going to want to um, get himself a piece, get himself a taste. But also know your worth, know your standards, know what you like. And uh, everything that you said sounded beautiful, lovely. Ladies and gentlemen and creatures out there, if you guys are interested in Salvador, please make sure you slide into the DM. Something tells me that Salvador is going to get a lot of heat and a lot of action tonight. What do you hope to get from this experience? What, what, what do you, what do you want to, what do you want to accomplish tonight? What, what do you want to feel? Just meet some good people. Uh, that I vibe with, and we'll see where that takes me. I yeah, should you... up with Fabian from One Size. They would be a perfect match. Yeah, Fabian is cute. Fabian is hot. so cute. And then Fabian lives in LA. Do have... Are you an LA girl? Do you go to LA or no? I do go to LA. I used to live in Santa Monica. Um, right now I'm in San Diego. Um, am I actually debating whether or not I want to change in my life in terms of location, but Still figuring that out, but yeah, I love LA. So. Send me a DM on Insta, and I'll show you uh, Fabian's profile. And if you like, you can send him a message. Tell we'll him I sent you up so you can go on a date or something. Mm -hmm. Are you sure. what? What are you the? Are you the kind of guy that like you like to go on a date, or do you just do you want to bring him to your house? <laughs> I mean, it depends. If it's gonna be a hookup, then it can be the house. But a date, yeah, I like to go on a date. I don't like movies because then you don't really get to know someone. 
So I like like I don't know like bowling or like a hike or like something some activity and then like be a little bit affectionate and uh Ooh. yeah romantic so yeah okay how long do you think how many dates should you wait before you show him the the meat <laughs> I don't have a rule against that it really just depends how well we hit it off if Ooh. we hit it off the first night great and if, oh, so you'll and show, if it's you'll show meat on day 1 in the first hour, I believe. <laughs> no, not the. No, if it's a date, I mean, if the date goes well at the end of the night, I mean, we'll see you're what telling happens. And it's fine. And you're at a pizza joint, and and you go to the bathroom, and then he walks in, and it's a one, a, a two, uh, urinal, and he locks the door and gets on his knees. You're not gonna uh, pull out. Well, that's never happened on a date. But if it did, <laughs> the first hour of meeting, you will. <laughs> I like oh, it. depends how I feel about them. Oh, okay. Well, I just want you to know, Joella's is going to be in the DMs. I'm going to be at the pizza joint. Wait, oh. <laughs> so I Wally love pizza. Be in the DMs, honey. <laughs> I will. Are we going to be feeding feeding a uh, pizza? I'm going to feed you pizza. I'm going to feed you bread. I'm going to feed you Niha, the. Niha Massacre is messaging me, and she tells me that she has a very eligible. A artist who works in the Hollywood in the industry who he also believes that he can set you up with, honey. You got, let me tell you, we're gonna find you a, a fine ass, talented, educated boyfriend well, who's got money, who has a good job, who works in the industry, because your your vibes are very positive and and very cute, very humble, and we like that. We like that energy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, Miss Salvador. Well, we got you, baby. Expect uh, a uh, fifty DMs to come into the messages, um, and and if if let, keep us posted. If something if something goes down and you really meet somebody, you start talking to, to somebody, let me know, and we can bring you in a future episode so you can tell us the tea because we love the tea around here. Perfect. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, Salvador, mi amor. Good luck, and we hope you find love. Thank you. Oh, baby, that was Trey. That man was fine. He looked like even after he goes to the gym and he comes back all sweaty, it still tastes good. Anywhere oh. you put your tongue, it's gonna taste good. Mm. And then he's got money. He's 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 got education, baby. He looks like he cares about himself. That's 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 baby, the case right there. I would throw myself in the freezer with him. I get locked in there. I thought you said we were gonna throw yourself in front of the bus for him. <laughs> Please throw yourself in front of the bus so we can save his life. Because that man, he's got a beautiful future ahead of him, and he will find love. And let me tell you something. If some, it, let me tell you all, all these gay boys coming up in here trying to get trade and love. If y'all end up meeting somebody, and y'all really hit it off, and if somebody gets uh, engaged or gets married, they better invite us to the wedding. You better invite us to the wedding, because we're always doing the Lord's work. I feel like we need to charge subscription. We are the new grinder Tinder. We are the new grinder Tinder. We help, we help them find love. That's the whole point of the show. Well, what contestant was that? Contestant number two? Uh, three. Contestant number three. Let's move on to contestant number four, honey. We have contestant number four, and this is oh, Hector. Oh. Oh, I love him. Oh, Which my Cake. He got cake. I'm letting y'all know he got cake. What's the cake, baby? First of all, baby, tell us your name. Oh, how me. old are you, and where are you calling from? Your microphone, baby. Turn on your microphone. You mute it. Your mic is muted. Sorry. There we, there go. we go. Okay. What's your name? Where are you calling from, and how old are you, baby? Uh, my name's Hector. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm 30 years old. Oh, that's a good age. That's a good now age. Now you can show us the cake. I don't have cake, but I'll oh, show Oh, yes, you do. I've seen it. And, hey, let's, let's see the and cake. I'm subscribed to the only. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Listen, no. I am subscribed to his only, and I've been subscribed. No. It, Joella, are oh, you on this man's OnlyFans? Oh, it's fabulous. It is <laughs> Well, uh, Joel, I haven't uploaded in past year, but thank you for the promo. I should probably oh my God. Okay, get Ms. to Ms. uploading Hector, some more. Miss Hector, where um what 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 can we the viewers right now, everyone watching, promote yourself and give us a taste? What can we find on your OnlyFans? 
Um, so like I said, my OnlyFans content is pretty old, but uh, just pretty much like J-O videos or like personal me at home or me in a public restroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't do content with anybody yet because I'm not a professional, so <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing, but I like to do, I like to put myself out there, so. Okay, so do we need to find you a man who's also going to be comfortable going on OnlyFans with you or no? Okay, she doesn't want an OnlyFans girl. Uh, that's that's in my past, honestly. I mean, I should get back into it because, I mean, money's money, but I'm trying to take myself a little bit more serious, I guess. Okay. I like that. Okay. Yeah. But thank God I got to see the whole kitchen. <laughs> it's still there. It's still there. Something tells me that there's a lot of huevos rancheros, huevos revueltos in there. Are, is, sí, soy de Nuevo León. Vengo de rancho. Oh, de rancho, de, de la sierra. Joela, is, is it giving? Baby, when I tell you this man has the perfect piece and cakes, the perfect combo, and he got the elephants to go with it. <gasps> with a touch of elephantitis. Mm -hmm. Just a touch. It's, oh. a tour, it's a blast oh, point. He just, grabbed, he just grabbed a whole handful. Did you not see that? Go okay. Hector, how does it feel to run around the world with a big old piece? How does it feel? Does it feel good or does it does it cause you distress? <laughs> it causes me a little bit of distress because, um, you know, once you get a taste, you kind of go crazy for it. And I like to, you I like to explore my options have, and not every... I'm sorry. You look like you have a heart on in your pants from day to day because you got the big old bolotas and the big old weenies. Yeah, I get accused of wearing a cock ring at work. <laughs> Are you serious? But you're not. I'm oh, not. Bro. He's showing to the gods. Just on regular. Mm. Yeah. Nomás estoy huevudo. Oh my God. El huevo duro. El Let's huevo duro. And oh. It's in your underwear. Show us again. Just stand up. Uh -huh, look, here we go. Oh no. Oh my God. The <laughs> Lord, you guys, we're gonna, you guys are gonna get demonetized. No, to love episode two. No, baby, listen. You you can go ahead and rearrange your package. You have to. We're having testicle difficulties, and this <laughs> man has to re rearrange himself. Oh my god. Okay, so aside from a big old piece, what else uh, um, can? Because your man is watching right now. He's watching. He's falling in love with you in this moment by the second. What else can you offer other than a big old piece? Which sometimes that's all you need. Um, yeah, but I have a big old heart and, um, I have a lot of genuine love to offer. I guess you could say I'm coming out of like a one year breakup from a year ago and uh, I'm ready to get back out there. Aww. Can you tell us what kind of man, woman or creature are you looking for? Um, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm like a introverted extrovert. I don't know how to describe like truly describe that me too um, like i'm a very outgoing person once i really get to know you and then i guess you could see the other side of me but initially you see me this is what you get like i'm pretty um i sure. feel like uh like you need to really get me there for me to explode and then once i get to explode sometimes it's a hit or a miss with people you know i don't know but um i have a big piece of big heart and i'm like old school lover i guess you could say <laughs> <laughs> okay, what kind of what, but what kind of what kind of man are you looking for? Like what 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 kind of boy are you into? Like what's what attracts you? What turns you on? What activates you? Um uh, somebody who gives me a lot of attention. I like somebody who has a job. I don't like deadbeats. I mean, I'm a hard worker myself, so I don't like to have or be around somebody who doesn't match my energy as much as like as far as like, if I go out and mingle with friends, they're gonna be like too jealous and stuff like that. I'm a bartender, so when I go out to the gay scene here in Houston, I like, I'm very sociable. I know a lot of people. I'm not saying that I'm like constantly around people all the time, but when I do go out, I am a very sociable person. I actually met you, Luscious, like two weeks ago at South Beach. I don't know if you remember, but I was pretty drunk. <laughs> and you were with Randy. Or was I a bitch? No, you were really sweet. You followed me back on Instagram finally. 
Thank I'm you. a fan. I love you guys so much. I literally watch you guys. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous right now too. I'm like, I hope my voice doesn't sound shaky oh, or anything. Don't be nervous. You got nothing to be nervous about. We are living. And let me I, tell you, the girls in the comments, they're living for you. Now tell us, let's get into the real team. Is yeah. it a turtle? Is it a turtle or or is it is it's it a what? blast toys uncut? Oh, 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 it's uncut. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Wait, isn't that isn't that what a turtle means? Yeah. Turtle means hood. Yeah, yeah. I'm hooded. She got a hood. Oh, she got a hood. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you a player? Do you feel? Are you a? Because I feel like something tells me that the boys that you that that date you they get very jealous because you're always out. You're a bartender. So and the girls like he he plays with the girls. He likes the girls. <gasps> and the girls like him. That's yeah. Um, I don't play with the girls. They, I yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been watching some very particular corn lately, and uh, I've been finding myself being turned on by things that didn't usually turn me on. <gasps> oh. Um, like what? Do tell us. Do tell us what kind of corn? Like FTM corn. Oh, okay. I and like I see it a lot on Twitter and. It like turns me on to see like a feminine boy with rice, rice, rice. But that's never turned me on before because I think and you could consider me a gold star gay. I've never really been with a woman like that. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, but they've, all, they've all hit on you because I've seen your stories and you're surrounded by by trans women. Yeah, I have a lot of. I have a. Um, so I'm also I'm also dabbling into photography now and. I have a lot of very talented friends. Um, I'm really close with the LaRue family here in Houston. Oh. So I have we a drag wife. Miss Adriana and Rain. We love Miss. A shout out to Miss Adriana LaRue, Miss Rain, Rain LaRue. We live for them. Those women. Yeah, do those, are my, those are my sisters. Um, you so know I have my, a gay uh, wife and her name's Gia LaRue and she's uh, the first LaRue offspring, I guess you could say. So she's the <laughs> oldest sister of all the LaRues. And she's your wife, you said? She's my drag wife. Yeah, I backstage her and do everything for her. Okay, but what does that mean? Talk to me because I'm lost. To me? To what me, what that means is uh, having uh, a, a great support system that's always going to be there. If she needs me, I'll pick her up. If she, like, needs me to backstage her and, I, you know, if I have to drop everything I'm doing, I will do it for her. So just, like, a very loyal friend. And I've known her since we were little. So she claimed me as her husband and I claim her as my wife. So, you know, I've been in this situation before, and it's going to turn out ugly. It ended up I, ugly? I think she is going to form an emotional attachment to you. And in her... I'm in love with you. Are you... Are you, are you yeah. Her. We've... Um, I mean, like I said, I'm not... I am into the dolls. Like, I'm very fascinated by you guys. And I, I've i been gooped and tricked into having relationship with dolls before, and they don't tell me until later on. And Not I think the rule. I know she got. <laughs> I know it was. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. This this got real interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. What do you mean you got tricked? Yeah, so, having so, relationships with dolls, but you didn't Amanda know. And Andrews. Yeah. No, like legit. I've 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 uh, met really cute guys, and I mean, I'm not. I'm not against it. Like I said, I've met really cute guys and they hit me with, and we've been in relationships and we've been in dates or not relationships, but I'm saying we've hooked up and like, I've been to their house and everything. And I guess they hide shit in their closet where I get there. And I'm like, I had no idea you were a drag queen. And oh. then I see them out in the club and I'm like, they're doing a woman's got the strength. <laughs> 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 Straight 12 minute mega mix, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I look at them and I'm like, wait, I've been with them or hooked up with them before. No. And they never mentioned oh. it to me before. Is it any is it a drag queen we know? Can you take can you share our name? <laughs> I know it's Lysha. She's a no. very <laughs> No, Lysha's my no, Lysha's my suegra. Oh my god. What about okay. Layla Aru? Hold no, on. it's I, not a LaRue. It's, go, a, go it's a Houston drag queen, though. Hold on, I want to go back to this drag husband, T. Your drag wife, have you ever pounded her out? <laughs> no. we No. No. Um, uh, she sucked the turtle. She sucked my balls before. <laughs> I knew it. 
I know. Wow. Okay, you need to explain that to me because how do you just how not the shaft, just the balls? I literally took my balls out of the bottom and she was like, <laughs> Did it turn you on? What? Did it get you aroused? I was drunk as fuck, and I, it was not just me and her. It was me, her, and another friend, and she was, you know, having, she was getting lucky as fuck with us, I guess, because, I mean, I was conscious. Oh, so you went all the way down with, whoa, fellatio. She was, she was sucking down my other friend, and I just didn't want to feel left out, so I, like, pulled my balls out. Oh. Kind but of only, to, only the balls. Is only this the balls. Probably, She's seen me fully you, naked before, but. You didn't get to taste the whole thing. No. <laughs> She's seen me fully naked, like. We, hey, you gotta let her taste the whole thing, though. No, no, not yet. Would no, no. Peach? If you were drunk and she says, "I want to lick the peach," would you bend over and let her lick? It depends how horny I am. <gasps> oh, so there's a shot. Mm, I mean, it hasn't happened yet, and I've known her for like almost twenty years. Okay. Oh. What if? What if that's the love of your life? Um, I've thought about it and we've had conversations and we get drunk and we're, I mean, it's more of like a sister relationship. I mean, I don't let my sister suck my balls, but it's more of like, <laughs> I know what type of man you want. You what want, is it? Cause I don't, I don't even think you I, want, know I can figure myself out. You want a butch man that's going to take control of you and tell you what to do, wow. but in the bedroom, be, be, uh, versatile and satisfy you in any way that you're feeling. And you want a man, he doesn't have to have a lot of money. He can work at the Piggly Wiggly at the Walmart, but as long as he helps you out, he, he buys you gifts, he brings you flowers, he takes you, he writes you sweet notes, takes you out to the park and holds your hand. And I think that's what you're looking for. That's what you need. I don't see you with a feminine man at all. You know, um... Okay, so half of that was kind of true. So yeah, I do like a hopeless romantic because I am a hopeless romantic myself. But I do, I am in my, I guess I'm in my bottom era right now. I've been dabbling a lot in like trying to be more open with guys when they come over or, or like I meet guys on Grinder. let's be fucking real. And um, they come over and, you know, they want, they don't want just, the sausage they kind of want like the peach and if i don't give it to them they like it's either a deal breaker or not so i've been dabbling into trying to get more into letting myself be a little bit more submissive and i kind of like it oh so I think, yeah i've only been in two I'm, series I'm gonna, keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real with you and i'm gonna tell you right now i think your 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 drag wife that's your soulmate i think she would make you oh, so she happy. is already my soulmate i think she will take care of you i think you need to marry that woman that sounds like a good woman to me she is a good woman i'm actually gonna i actually told mentioned to her i was like you need to come on to drag me to love to see what you can do her. but we need her on and we need it after. we need to talk to her we we need to mm -hmm. We need to really get get the theme. Can you out. text her? Maybe she come on. Yeah, let me text her. Hold on. Text her. <laughs> we, we are on. Wait, I'm on my phone now. Can, will it log me out? Yeah, you know. Okay, you're okay. Don't, on. don't text her yet. Don't text her yet. Text her okay. after after we. Yeah. And then we can bring her on. Okay, Hector, I'm going to give you an opportunity to sell yourself right now. Because your you're man, woman, creature, whatever is out there, and he's falling in love with you right now. Tell us, why should they slide it? into the dm why should they love you tell us now um i'm a very 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 hard exterior so like if you're looking for some good eye candy i guess i could be a good arm candy um i'm a very soft teddy bear on the inside if um you want to take someone home to mom i'm probably a good guy um oh. sorry Bilingüe, hablo español, hablo inglés, lo que te guste, me gustan los mexicanos, me encanta, com me encanta comer, me encanta cocinar, I love to be, me encanta um, coger, me encanta coger, y me encanta coger, <laughs> <laughs> coger, comer, y no más, no, no. <laughs> um, me, and I'm, like, I'm a really easy going person, I'm a, I'm a blast, I'm, I feel like sometimes, um, like right now I'm kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie, but I'm a guy that's in, in touch with my feminine side, so um, I'm not, like, embarrassed to have a feminine boyfriend. I really am not. It kind of turns me on, if I'm honest. But uh, honesty is, like, a big thing with me. And uh, I guess somebody also 
selling myself this may not be selling myself but like someone who can handle me like so i quote a judo sometimes but like you know who isn't i guess that's my mexican side i'm a little jealous machista in a way but uh oh. a lot of people <laughs> like that a lot of gay guys like that and uh i don't know i think that makes throughout the years that's made me more do you sometimes do you slap your boyfriend if you get mad do you slap him a little bit only if they want to Oh, okay. Now tell me, have you ever, uh, are you into the big girls? Because they're asking me in the comments if you're into big boys or big girls. I, I mean, I, I don't consider myself a fucking skinny guy or anything. I'm a big boy myself. I'm thick. I work out. I mean, I've, I've found a lot of, I've done a lot of soul searching this past year um, after my relationship. And like I said, I'm ready to get back out there. Um, so I don't discriminate against anybody. I've noticed I guess because I just turned 30 this year that I've uh, expanded my horizons a lot more. And yeah, I'm open to some big, fat, juicy ass in my face that I wasn't really, I was more into the twink vibe, but now I'm like more into like, oh. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> do you ever, you do come to the Valley a lot, right? Or you don't? Yeah, I go to Progreso to go buy my, you know, goodies. Okay, well. What you goodies do you buy, bitch? I live yeah. by. What goodies do you be buying in Mexico? I'm not gonna Ozempic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm trying to buy because I've I've smuggled them in somebody's butt before. It's uh Xanax. Yeah, Xanax and shit like that, you know. But I don't not for me, like there's a there's a bathhouse here and he, never mind, let me shut up. I'll tell you the story about the Xanax in tomorrow's live. Remind me because it is hilarious. Hold on, Hector, we wanna know now that you said it. Do you go do you do you have you ever been to the bathhouse? <laughs> yeah. I have. Was it, was it sickening? Did it give? You know, the first, the I've been there, I've been like four times. The past two times that I went, yeah, I I have okay. really crazy friends. Like they're 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 like the bathhouse dolls. Like, like, like they live there. You sound like fun. Okay, and then what did you do at the bathhouse? Did you have fun? Did you do? Were you were you a popular <laughs> boy? Um, to be honest, my first two times that I went, I, I was very nervous and I didn't want to be naked around anybody. Why? Um, I was just more body conscious back then. I wasn't on my fitness journey that I was that I am on now. So recently I went with my friend, um, I think it was like a month ago, and I was fully naked walking around the bathhouse for the first time ever. It was very liberating. Was the tortoise was she was she pointing up to the sky? Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't mind walking around with a limp dick either, so I don't, oh, that, oh okay, oh. that doesn't really like phase me because the you know, everybody's there for a reason, so they approach you no matter what. They don't okay. think that there's not really like, I mean, yeah, of course, there is size queens there, but people are there to get what they can get, if that makes sense. Rise, rise, and did you have fun? Did you get yourself a piece in there, a couple okay. pieces? Yeah, of course. I mean, that was the point. <laughs> oh. That was the point. And I, I also like to go chill by the pool. And I'm actually very sunburned right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Not because of Club Houston, but I love to, like, be by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> not because I was at Club Houston, but I'm just saying, like... I'm, not because she was at the bathhouse, right? Yeah, not because of that. I just... I Lately, I've been a very outdoorsy person, too. I, I like being outdoors at least two, two hours out of the day. Oh, mine i want to put him in a patch it in a boy patch it i want to put him for i know i know i know um your friend lushes your old roommate um se me va el nombre siempre randy randy lo conozco a randy se me hace tan chulo pero pues es mi hermana nomás <laughs> pero pero nunca sabes no, 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 no. <laughs> el otro día el, ayer que lo pusiste en live yesterday when you put him on your live and he was saying like how he was getting pounded by some guy he met on live with you and some shit like that. I was like, oh, okay. Well, well huh? you, you're the one that pounded him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I DM'd him and I was like, pull down your pants, let me see your cakes. And he just laughed. So I was like, oh, I guess that's enough for me. Oh my God, uh, the girly girls. Well, everyone, Hector, get a round of applause for Hector. If you guys feel like you're falling in love, and this is the man for you. This man can make you happy. And this man is going to satisfy you. And you feel like you can satisfy him. Slide up into the DMs on Instagram. Hector, keep us posted. If you if, if people slide up in there and you and you make connections, let us know. We would love to bring you back on the show. All righty, you guys. Thank you so much for the opportunity. 
text your wife to log on. Text I'll your text her right now. And and to come on because we need to have a conversation with her. We need to really get down to the T because we 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 feel like we can find her some love. For yeah. sure, she she's a good lover too, and she's a great girl. And um, I think she's she's into. Um, let me not tell you what she's into. I'll let her tell you. But <laughs> if you guys meet her, you guys will understand the whole Houston kind of like vibe with the dolls right now. Oh, we know. We know, baby. We know. We know. I know. I know. All right, you guys. Thank you so baby, much. Have a good night. Everybody slide up in the DMs. I have a feeling you're going to get a lot of boys and girls up in there. Hopefully at least 25, not half of 50. Oh, okay, least. so 25. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I know that was the peak for old boy earlier. Oh, okay. Well, shoot your shot. Is Joseph your time? He's not. Oh. <laughs> I will be in LA though on the fourth of July. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> Okay, okay. You live. Yeah, <laughs> if anybody wants to DM me and hang out while I'm in LA, I'm gonna be completely alone. I'm gonna be looking around in the city. It'll be my first time in uh West Hollywood, right? That's the gay area over there. We hope. Where the whole yeah. mm -hmm. I got oh, a room yeah. and I got a little rental car, so you know, let's have some fun. Try it. Well, for, the girls are asking, what about Salvador, the guy that was on before you? Is Salvador your time? He's cute. He's cute. He was cute. I was I was watching his thing, but again, too far for me. But for fun, absolutely. What about La La Enferma? Oh, what's your name? La Enferma. <laughs> La Enferma, bro. I was gonna put my name as El Enferma. What about Miss Enferma, honey? What about Miss Enferma? Is that your time? <laughs> no, that's a sis That's my little sister. <laughs> I'll take her out. I'll take her out and get her okay. some trade though. We'll take her out. Okay, okay. Okay, baby. Miss Hector's in the house. Everybody make some noise for Miss Hector. And if you and are falling in love with Miss Hector, you want to have a relationship with Miss Hector, slide up. Pull up and push out. Push out. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. Oh my God, I really liked him. Everyone in the comments kept saying that that was my man, that that was the man of my my dream. That and that was my man. So I think we found love. <laughs> so you have Salvador and I have Hector. But the sad thing is that I've already seen every piece of your man. <laughs> it's oh, called Hector. But do you think do you think he could satisfy me? Oh, the hot thing is that he he gets random trays. Like he'll sit in the bathroom and wait, and that's the video on his OnlyFans. Oh, and so it, he'll he'll like do random hookups. He'll sit of in the bathroom in a jock strap waiting. It's not like the one with a lot of stuff. It's the ones that with one bathroom and one sink. He'll wait in there, and then somebody will walk in and see him in the jock strap, and boom, he goes. And so, and so some of these men are are not even gay. No, and he still pulls them. He's pulling on baby and he is doing it right. His OnlyFans is hot. <laughs> the lady Joelta is over there getting all the tea from Miss Hector. She knows everything about her intimate love life and we live. Okay, let's move on to contestant. I don't even know what contestant we are at anymore. Contestant number five. And this is one of the dolls. We're bringing in a doll. Um, oh, cool. Let me bring her on and she can tell us all about herself. Oh my gosh, oh, hi. I got oh hi, Jessica the fam in the house. Fam, you better work. Oh, you better oh, she put on her good wig and her good dress, baby. You know, I wanted to look good for the dolls. Oh yes. I can't believe I'm on here. This is so insane. I'm such a big fan of you girls. Oh. You girls are so fabulous. You girls are oh. Texas royalty. And you're looking like Texas royalty tonight, I want to say. I look like the little, the biggest fat whore in Texas, and I love Your it. Your girls look so sickening. I love it. Representing Texas, I love Thank it. <laughs> yes. Okay, Miss Jessica, now tell us, where are you from, and how old are you, Miss Jessica? Uh, my name is Jessica Nicole. I am from El Paso, Texas. I am 32 years old, and I'm looking for love. I'm ready to get dragged to love. Oh, <laughs> she's the drag me to love, honey. <laughs> oh my, drag me, baby, drag me, baby, drag me for <laughs> film. Okay, Miss Jessica, now tell me, because you're you're 32 years old, you are a full woman now. You're a full woman. Tell me, what kind of man are you looking for? 
Um, I'm looking for a big man, a mm -hmm. sexy man, a juicy man. Oh. Um, <laughs> you know, actually, what I'm really looking for, uh, you said it in a video of one of yours, uh, and you were saying that you really wanted a man to look at you and to say, that's what I want. Oh. I want that kind of <laughs> And that's what I want. I want a man to look at me and say, baby, I'm going to get me some of that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Miss Jessica is... um. Now you are the doll, giving the doll experience. Now, what kind of men are you into? Are you into a, like, cause you know, as dolls, sometimes the men that we are into, they can be a little different. What kind of men are you, does he have to be super masculine? Does he have to be like a man or what, what does it give for you? Uh, so funny story. Sometimes I'm actually a little into you know, those those kinky, feminine cross-dresser bottoms. <gasps> I kind of live in a fantasy sometimes. Okay. I'm a little lesbian sometimes, I'll be honest. You know, she's serving the, the femme top uh, pound town Energy. realness. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, sometimes I don't mind a little feminine twink, but on the other side of the spectrum, I'm also really into, like, the big daddy. You know, and I, I feel like you girls know, um, we get as, as dolls, we get some sickening trade. Do yeah. we? Do you be pulling some trade? I feel Ms. like you girls be pulling the trade too. Oh, I, I feel do. like you girls be getting some, oh, some I do. fine men. Well, let me say something. When, when Miss Jessica messaged me, I don't know if Joella, if you follow Miss Jessica, but Je Miss Jessica messaged me that she wanted to be a contestant on the show. And I went in there and Miss Jessica, she loves to take photos in the lingerie. Ooh. She loves to do the little peanut. I, I am an OnlyFans doll. I am. Oh. I do be uh. doing the fantasy and filling the oats and, and you know, living, living her life. She's a professional. You yeah, she's a professional and girl for sure. I love <laughs> she's, she's a woman of the night. She is a working woman. She is a professional Ooh. at the end of the day. <laughs> okay, and tell us, um, this is your opportunity for you to sell yourself. Because let me tell you, the man of your dreams, the little sissy femme bottom cross dresser of your dreams is watching this video. So this is your opportunity to sell yourself and tell us why you should be dragged to love. Go! <gasps> Um, I should be dragged to love because I'm fabulous. I am independent. She's an independent woman. She takes care of her own. I'm loving, I'm giving. Um, I have a huge heart, huge dick too. Oh. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you know, if this is a moment to sell myself, I've been selling myself my whole life. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 she's a pro. Oh, oh, Joella, look at your mistake. Hold on, Joella. Let me see what happened. Show me again. Because you never know, Joella might be the one to slide up in the DMs, girl. It might no, not Joella living for the fantasy. Oh, Joella, fantasy. Joella, Joella, sometimes she scares me a lot. I, I saw her in the VR, so I know how Joella is. Mm -hmm. I feel like oh, Joella's you... very one of those girls. They be oh. girls. I feel like Joella likes to live the fantasy. I and do. so I think I think Joella is ready, and <laughs> who knows in VR I might be ready too. Uh, <laughs> something tells me, Miss Jessica, that you would also be open to having a, re a relationship with one of the dolls. Would that be something that you would be into? I'll be honest. I am mask attractive. Um, oh, okay. I'm attracted to men um, of all sorts and all kinds. So I feel like even an, uh, an F2M, I feel like I could be into. I feel like I just like masculine energy um, because I obviously put out a lot of feminine energy. But I also have my mask side. I, I relate so much to you, Luscious, because I, I watch so many of your videos. Like I said, I'm such a big fan. And you're always talking about the CD experience and yeah. what it's like to be a girl in between, you know? Like yeah. a girl that doesn't fit into any box. You know, we're not trans. 
we're not necessarily we are gay men, but we're not fully gay men, if that makes sense. We dip into the feminine, the femininity, the feminine goddess. And so I feel like it's really hard living in that space. Yes, it is. It's difficult. Joella, do you have um, any but questions I, for but this? I do like the, the, the big, you know what my fantasy is actually? Um, I would love JT. Maybe Joella knows who I'm talking about. He's one of uh, um, Miss Star's traits. Miss Miss Jeffree Star's traits. Okay. Oh, I know who you, you're talking about. That model, that fine ass model from Jeffree Star that comes out in that, the. That's who I'm trying to get, girl. That's who oh, I need. Okay, so you I are a fine ass man. Okay, so so you're a dreamer. Yeah, he's that guy's hater. Because I saw him. I'm definitely a dreamer, but you know what? I feel like a dreamer, but I love pull, I feel like we do pull some of these really fine ass men, and I'm sure you girls can attest to it because I feel like the men love the dolls. Absolutely. Oh. That's why I call it the delusions because a lot of people don't realize, but we, you know, putting on this armor and, and, and activating ourselves and entering the feminine realm, sometimes the men that come and visit us, they're fine. They're it activates us, and the men yeah. are trying to get to Chromatica. Right. Thank you very much. I think so the men are trying to get to the fantasy. For this woman. And we yeah. start the fantasy, and they live, I think. <laughs> okay, Joella has a fierce, fabulous question for you. Let's see, Joella, come on. Uh, I'm sorry, I was falling asleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Not the necklace, girl. <laughs> Not because of you, I'm just tired. <laughs> like coffee. Joella. <laughs> I love. I need to wake up. Okay. Um, I have to wake up, sister. Wake up. I'm going to have to talk to her in the VR. That's the only way yeah. she'll talk to me. I'm going to have to put on the headset and be like, Miss Joella, it's time to activate. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> how many questions? I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> my brain not functioning. No, this woman has released. <laughs> okay, well, Miss Jessica Lafemme, let me tell you something. Your man is out here. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll ask her something. Since you, you are now a VR doll, would you be open to having a relationship in VR that will come out into the real world? Because I've dabbled. And it's something, let me tell you. I feel, well, seeing your journeys, it's definitely like um, a warning <laughs> um, because I feel like <laughs> so many men on there are wanting to explore their wild yes. side. And I feel like as dolls, that's what we experience. Like guys wanna get out and get loose and, and try the, the freaky shit with us, but then the next day they're over it. You exactly. know what I mean? What? But um, the reason why I don't get too into the VR, I love it. I have it. Yeah. But the only reason why I don't use it too much is because I'm a little scared of getting lost, lost in the you VR do. world. But let me tell what you, what if I, what if I, what if I find a man and I'm in you love, will. and I and still have to, you know, live my, my feminine life in the real world and and be a feminine doll. And if, and if Look, I'm in the VR world, you know, I, I can't right do that. Here, trying to bring men to the masses, and I'm gonna find you a VR man. I'm making it my mission, so find me tonight. I'll be on there, uh, and I'll, I will definitely add you. Yes, I will. Definitely I'm gonna add you. hook you up with somebody that I know. He likes fireworks. Yes, he fireworks. He's addicted to fireworks, and I think he'll be perfect for you. Wow. Well, okay. I guess I guess you girls are dragging me to love then. I guess. Yeah. No, <laughs> listen, your your love, the man of your dreams is, is watching this video right now and he's going to slide up in you, to your DMs. So if you're out there to this fabulous masculine man um, and, you're, and, you're, and you're falling in love with Miss Jessica Lafemme, slide into her DMs now. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Jessica Lafemme, for joining us. You look beautiful. You look Thank gorgeous. Thank you so much. Um, let me tell you something. I expect and I hope that you're getting yourself a piece of trade tonight. You know that I am. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Get on vocal. I already have the minds up, girl. Like, what up? What up? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I woke up. I woke up. Hold on just a second, girls. Hold on just a second. Okay, Miss, we, and we tell me, Miss Jessica, something tells me she be getting trade on that bed. 
Sati, tell me this woman's not looking for love. She's this looking woman. for love. Hey. <laughs> no, oh. I am looking for love. I'm right. an independent woman ready for a man. But well, right. look, ready to you know, it. it's it's it I'm like in the words of Mariah Carey, I'm doing the best with what I got. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if you guys have seen that video. In the words of Mariah car. Carey, I don't know her. <laughs> <gasps> This woman is not well. She's this ready. She's ready. ready. She this, I am ready to battle, and I'm ready for a war. Oh, you're gonna find somebody. I know. I know a lot of men on there, and I'll find you one. They're gonna me. live for you because you're gorgeous, Miss Jessica. Your man was. I first of all, let me tell you real quick. I'm sorry. He came up to me and and I said sorry. I, I whatever we have, it's it's done. Your lush is as he said. Who the hell's Luscious? I said, she already claimed you. He's like, what? I said, she claimed you. She's yours. She'll be back on Not, not Joella coming for your man, Miss Luscious. No, I didn't. I did it. And then he says, well, give her my Snapchat. So I got to give you his Snapchat. He's ready for you. Okay. Let I me give, a, let me give a couple of shout outs really quick. Let me give a couple of shout outs. We have Miss Trigonometry, Miss Trigonometry in the house. She said, I can't handle the beauty, so I will excuse the beauty this time. <gasps> Miss Trigonometry. Oh we also have Miss Chaz Mercado, honey. Miss Chaz Mercado. She said, I love you both. Wake up, Joella Puss. The lady Joella Puss, the, the little, the, the. Miss Joella was sleeping on me. I feel offended. It's not you. It's 12 in the morning over here. Read her. Read her. Shred her. Destroy her. You know, I'm in West Texas, and, and I feel like you girls are really legendary in the Texas scene. I used to do drag, and I also was one of those um, dollar menu dancers that you were talking about the other day, Miss Luscious. <gasps> I was one of those dancers. I was one of the backup dancers working for um, the, the two-for-one Dollar Taco was at Jack in the Box and mm -hmm. the McChickens and <laughs> the Domino's. But she was one of those dolls. I used to dance um, in the pageant. Miss Jessica, what app, can you tell me what app are you going to use tonight to find yourself a piece of trade? What do you use? Um, Facebook. <laughs> really? You go on Facebook to get yourself some it's trade? I feel like all the trades be coming for me, girl. I get them from... from you know what? Facebook from everywhere. Be really smart to <laughs> get traded. Let me tell you why. Because you'll know by the amount of, 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 of sissies he's been with, because it says mutual friends, when there's zero. Oh, you know, to be honest, he's 48 to 98, 100 mutual friends, baby, uh uh, block. <laughs> Miss uh, Joel is clocking the real tea, to be honest, because I so feel on like your Facebook, it's it's a woman's profile on your Facebook, so they can see all your womanly photos, and they be. I am a I am a cross dressing doll by day. I am uh, Daniel. Okay. Um, Danny, and okay. and I feel like it's really hard for girls like us. I think that present masculine during the day. So, um, I know I may seem like I'm coming off for trade, but I really I'm not. Um. Right. I would like to find somebody, but I do think it's so hard. Um, there's a stigma, I think, with drag queens. No, I would, I would date a gay man. I would date a gay man. I don't see it happening, but I would. Yeah. Um, but mostly, what I'm attracted to more, I think, is like straight men, just because the straight men be putting it down. You know, they're they're doing the business, they're getting to work, and. I don't know, you know, she loves the fantasy. They let you have it. They let you Yeah, have it. I love, I, but like I said, I am a femme top. So like a lot of these straight guys becoming over wanting to, to, to fully go in and fully get pounded and live the fantasy. And I'm, I'm here for that. Right. I'm, I'm you know what? That. You know what I'm just for the sake of equality, for the sake of equality, be, just because we asked all these other men dudes earlier, um, and for all those all those men out there that like girls like us, can you tell us, uh, Miss Selena, is it giving is it giving turtle? <laughs> Luscious, how dare you disrespect ah, me in that right way? <laughs> I, I have the turtle. And for the How dare you quality. ask me those personal we, information? Honey, we asked dog. all the men. We asked all the men out there. We, we might as well ask the women too. Is it? Is just, it I, no, I'm just kidding. Let's just. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. And if any of the and if any of the um 
followers want to find out, y'all know where to find me on the OnlyFans. Baby. But it, she is a hooded, she is a hooded queen. <laughs> She's a hooded girl. She's fully living the hooded fantasy. And oh. They live for, for us. No. Thank you, Ms. Jessica, for letting, because let me tell you, that man out there, there's a man right now watching this video, and he's salivating, and he was thinking, I wonder if Miss Jessica, is she going to give me a hood, or is she not going to give me the hood, honey? But let me tell you, the hood is going to slide up in there tonight. Can you, uh, before... The hood is going to let the girls have, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are not ready. For, all for your of this. outro, can you well, twerk no, no, out? Fantasy. Can you twerk us out for your outro? Yes, can you twerk us out? Can you? I mean, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to. Let go. us have. Let us show us a piece, baby. Show us the piece. Booty, oh. booty, booty. Now bend over, bend over. Give it to us. There we go. Booty, oh, booty, oh, booty, oh, booty, oh, booty, oh, booty, oh. booty. Yeah. Ah! Applause, round of applause to Miss Jessica LaFab. Thank you so much, Miss Jessica, for joining us tonight. That was a hairy peach, man. <laughs> that was a hairy peach. Well, baby, she told you straight up she's a cross dressing doll, and you know that the cross dressing dolls sometimes they hold on to the masculinity and they and but they try to balance the femininity too. <laughs> they do. <laughs> this is wild. It's a balance. It's a balance. Listen. I love her. Listen, everybody. If you if you're out there, if this man, this 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 masculine man is out there and is curious and what and feels like, you know what, this is the woman for me. Jessica LaFemme is the one for me. Slide up into the DMs. Slide up into the DMs. We love Miss Jessica LaFemme. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. She gave us, she twerked us out. And let me tell you, the girls are living in the comments. I can tell that the girls are living their life. You woke me now, up. Yes, go in, go in. I said she woke me up with that twerk outro. Woke you right up. Before I, I, I bring in our next contestant, we're bringing in the next contestant. You guys, please make sure you like this video. And I'm watching right here with you on the phone. In the middle of the, if you're on the chat, you can press the little X so you can exit the chat. Go over to the thumbs up. Press the little like so you can support the show. The more likes that we get, the more that this show will be recommended and this show will be seen uh, by a bigger audience. And, and that way you can support us. And then you can press the live chat and go right back to joining the conversation. Now, um, let me give a shout out really quick before we bring in our next guest. We have Miss Chris B in the house. She said, TLC, are you watching this gold? <laughs> Honey, let me tell you, Miss TLC, give us a call. Give us a call because we're ready to, to bring this show to television and bring it into syndication. We are ready. Oh, I got the text that earlier. They said they are loving this. Go. <laughs> really? We need to bring the show Drag Me to Love. Um, it would be so, so, so good. And so um, it would be so much fun. Oh, we need to play the theme song one more time before we bring in the next guest. <laughs> The, we only gave them a piece of the theme song. Let's play it again. Okay, let's bring on the next contestant, honey. We have the next contestant in the house. Oh. Hi, you guys look so good today. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, my love. So do you. Tell me, what's your name? How old are you? And where are you calling us from? Yeah, my name is Christian. Um, I'm 25, and I'm currently in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, my God, Mr. Christian, calling us all the way from Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. How are you feeling tonight, baby? You've been watching the show, haven't you? How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, it was really good. I mean, it is, um, it is past my bedtime, but I was like, you know what? I'm trying to find love, and I need to do whatever it takes to find love. So here I am. <laughs> this woman is really trying to find love tonight. Okay, tell us, what is your dream man like? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I'm still currently on the journey of trying to find out like exactly what I want. But um, I feel like I definitely my dream man needs to be gentle, in touch with his emotions. 
Uh Um, I need an emotional man, like someone who isn't afraid of both showcasing like their vulnerability and their kindness. So you want him to cry. You want him to cry for you. Yeah, because I'm quite the crier too, and it'd be nice to cry together, you know? Oh, okay. (laughs) And uh, uh, do you want him to be like, what about the in, in the in the because you know the gays right now it's pride month yeah. they're very really obsessed do you want him to be in touch with his femininity masculinity what are you what are you coming for what are you craving um honestly i don't think it necessarily like matters to me um yeah. i've dated um one person that was like extremely like masculine and i've noticed that like um it wasn't something that i was definitely like gravitated towards too. Um, I met another, I've dated another person that kind of played around with the masculinity and femininity and I really enjoyed that person. So um, it doesn't really matter as long as someone is like themselves, like that's okay with me. Oh my God, okay. Joella, what do you think? What do you, what, what, what questions do you want to ask this man? If this man was in the bedroom and wanted to tie you up. Oh God. And- really tie you up, I mean, where you the point where it's hurting and you know that you ain't gonna get out unless he lets you out. Would you allow him to do so and would you let him take over control of your body? Honestly, no. Um, I've noticed I'm not much of like, uh, I, I don't really like like rough play. That's good. Um, I'm, quite the, I'm quite the vanilla person. Um, I like super simple things. Is it like um, a as, uh, vanilla swirl or vanilla? Oh, chocolate? very vanilla. Yeah, like there was like there was one time, um, my partner wanted to like try and choke me, placed his hands, and immediately I was like, I like the sense of danger just came up, and I was just like, no, absolutely not. And he was still holding on. So then I ended up like, because he could he didn't let go, so I put my hand on his neck. I was like, you better stop. And then he stopped. Oh my god! So you yeah. want. And that it while while you guys are pounding, he's crying, and well, it, not... and then you start crying, and he wipes your tear. Yeah, you know something romantic. I'm quite romantic. He grabs the tear, and then he says, "Open your mouth, baby." And he oh. drops <laughs> <laughs> oh. the tear in your mouth. That would be hot. Uh, oh would... my god, it'd be lovely. It's like full blown emotion just in my mouth. I think that'd right. be great. We would like that's what that's what we all want. We just want emotions in our mouths. That's what we really exactly. want. Exactly. Like, would exactly. you prefer Beyonce or Gaga? Oh. I'm a Gaga fan at heart, like okay. full okay. blown. Now I full, full blown. I have a person here from this question. You know the House of Gaga. They they are huge fans of this channel. They all yep. watch this channel. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's the great. House of Gaga is they're watching. Be careful. They're going <laughs> like, this is a this oh. is a picture Wait. house. Bash of your uh, undies? Oh no, I'm just wearing like red shorts. <laughs> oh, can you stand up for us? Can you give us a little? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. How old are you, Clavix? How old am I? What? How old are you? I'm 25. Oh, okay. And um, you, 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 are you a lifeguard? What do you do for a living? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> no, so I work uh, as a graphic designer for a fashion brand based in Columbus. Oh, oh so do, you, do you like uh, design clothing and things? The house? Yes. Home. So, um, yeah, I work for uh, Abercrombie and Fitch um, and I design uh, packaging, apparel clothing, and um, pattern design for them. Okay, so this this is a cute man. This is a hot, attractive man. He's got a nice spot. He's got a good job. He's a designer. He's educated. Okay, <laughs> in this moment, right now, this is your opportunity to sell yourself and drag yourself for love. One, two, three, go! Well, I will say, um, I'm an island boy at heart. I grew up in the island of Saipan, which is really, really far away from here. And I decided to leave my island to pursue my dreams of chasing, you know, the artistry of it all. So went to Florida, went to art school, got a degree. And by the time I reached my senior year, got my offer position at Abercrombie & Fitch. And I've been working with them for two years. And um, it's been fabulous. I mean, I have my own place. Uh, I'm well off of my job. I have quite the team back at a and I also cook pretty well. And I'm a pretty organized person, I would say. Um, and yeah, I mean, if there's anything about me, like I might be quite vanilla, but... Trust and believe to any lover out there. 
There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure that you say that now, but I'm sure that when you find the man that like truly you're in love with and that you're comfortable with, that you feel safe with, he will be able to take you to a world that you've probably never been before. And 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 if you are someone who enjoys something a little bit more soft and and maybe a little bit more sensitivity, there's absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, um, do you feel like in the relationship, are you looking for someone who's more of an alpha or a beta? Would you consider yourself, what, what are you looking for in that dynamic? Probably more so the alpha. I think like in my personal life, I'm quite like the alpha and I would like to take a step back and like, the intimate side of things just so like i'm not like constantly like just so do you, to, you yeah. want a man to come in there and be like be in control in that sense be more of an alpha yeah be more a little bit more dominant and 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 taking control of, of the situation if your man wanted to tell you and he's serious he you wake up in the morning he's in the table guys are eating your breakfast and he says babe you know how much we love the girls luscious and joella and uh we need to help them and we i need you look at me i love you and i know you love me i need you to quit amber crombie and fitch and i need you to apply a torrid because we need to help the girls yeah. take a plus size fashion line and only you can do that for them would you do it 100 percent, 100 percent I think, I mean, this yeah. is, okay, this turned into a job interview. Sell yourself and tell, <laughs> would you be the right candidate to help us launch our own makeup brand? Oh, 100%. I mean, I, I've i done marketing for the brand. I've done packaging. I've also dabbled a little bit in, like, the fashion apparel side of things. So if you need any help with, like, creating, like, garments from XL to 5X, because that's something we're trying to push with an a and I'd be more than happy to, like, lend a helping hand. Perfect. I love I love to hear that because I I do remember when I was younger like when I would go to Abercrombie and Finch I never felt like they yeah. were with me. Exactly. Sure. It seemed they were very the no fats no fans type of fantasy. Oh yeah, I mean like when <laughs> even before I started, <laughs> and I mean like when I no, I mean it's not, oh my god I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> you're fine. You're no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. This it's is, over. This is in the back, back in the days, bitch. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, I would have not worked for Abercrombie if it, was, it was, if it was still like back in the old days. It's definitely a lot more better now. And we're still trying to push for more like inclusivity in terms of like our size range. But um, I totally get it. Yeah. Now, everyone in the comments is badgering me. They're absolutely obsessed and they want me to ask you, do you go to the top of the mountain or do you go all the way to the bottom of the gutter? Um, currently, as of right now, I've only experienced being in the bottom of the mountain, but I would love to try experiencing the top. I've noticed as I was, you know, getting my life and I was just like, you know what? It, like, it doesn't hurt to like satisfy the sausage, you know? Oh, okay. I would say, yeah. <laughs> but I do enjoy a good, I do enjoy being at the bottom, like That's for the most part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure that they enjoy you being in the bottom too. Yeah. <laughs> oh now, is there anyone on the panel? Because we had, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight contestants tonight. Was there anyone in the panel that resonated with you that you thought, oh my God, this boy is cute. I would I would slide into the DMs? Oh, Sal, I think was like someone that really stood out to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I think can, you could, yeah. totally see that. <laughs> I don't know. There's just like a genuine, like, like a genuine, like, um, personality that he, he showcases that I really enjoy. And I love a good educated man. So hearing that he had a PhD just really grind my gears yeah. <laughs> and you know what he gave me very in touch with his emotions he gave me a man who was going to talk to you who was going to walk you through what he was he was going to communicate what he was feeling and then maybe if you know in the bedroom if, if he was to hold you by your neck he would do it very softly and he would ask yeah. for consent and he would yes. make sure it was okay and you know like he gives me very that energy I definitely felt that. I was just like, I feel like it would be, it would be long, romantic, and just like we would take our time, and that's what matters to me. Oh, oh my God! It would be hot and heavy and, and fully loaded. <laughs> Joella, Joella, any thoughts? Any questions for this man? Back to the torrid thing. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> By two torrid. 
But I don't think the pla- the, the the AF, the Amber Crombie, would feature the girls. I think, you know, we got to wait for the Torrid. Apply it, Torrid. <laughs> I think for it's, I, I think my next spot is Torrid, not Anna anymore. We need to message us first, Teddy. We need Torrid to message <laughs> us. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I would love to know in the love world, in the love department, what would be a perfect first date for you? Where, where would you like uh, to be? T- well, I love watching the sunset. So if I could get the chance to like maybe order takeout, get sushi, go out to like a high point if we're at the beach probably go by the beach and just watch the sunset and then like talk i think would be like the perfect first date just so we're really like talking and just like watching like all the the scenery play out what about the snacks what do you want to eat while you're there what what are the snacks uh mm, i think it would depend on what they like if like if they don't want to eat chips then we can't do chips but if it was if i could get it my way uh probably potato chips maybe a lace a ruffles Okay, and to drink, what are you drinking? Uh, probably soda. I don't know if I'd want to drink alcohol on the first date. I get a little, I get a little nervous, like if I start to like act a certain way. So probably like soda. Something tells me you need alcohol, baby. <laughs> really? Oh, black wine. Trust me. Listen. Okay, tell me your name one more time. Uh, Christian. Okay, Christian. Listen, you only live once. Okay. Okay. Something about your energy tells me that you're 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 a little scared to just let go of the reins. My challenge for you is okay. to let it go a little bit. Remember you only live once. Have fun. Um okay. take an adventure, take a risk. I promise you that yes, you might get a little uncomfortable, it might make you a little nervous. But it could also be very rewarding. Uh, and I think you might surprise yourself how much you might enjoy it. I think if you go out with the man, and if there is a little alcohol, or I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling you to drink, or I'm not telling you to smoke, or anything like that. But yeah. what I'm saying is, is push into the yes instead of pulling back into the no. Um, and, and remember to just, you only live, you only get to do it once. So... Make it bold, bitch. Take a risk oh, okay. and have some fun. Um, you I might think this man's gonna find love. Oh, I, honey, are, are you kidding? This man is perfect for love. This is yeah. this is the kind of man that you want. You want a man that is in touch with his emotions. His mental oh. health is on check. He yeah. has coins. He has his own place. He doesn't have pets. I mean, check, 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 check. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know this man don't want no pets? I'm a big psychic. I've told you this. I've just been looking at Joel is correct. Joel is correct. I don't have pets. <laughs> now, Christian, when it comes uh, into the world of the fantasy and your man is out there, and let's say you really did have to turn turn on the, the activation and go to the top of the mountain, are you going to let him have? Or how is that experience going to be? Oh, uh, I've thought about it. I mean, I would well, I would probably ask first, like how, like how hard they would want it. If they would want to be pounded to filth, you know, it's my mission to provide for my man. So if I have to go in, I will go in. Okay. And if he wants to take it slow, I'll take it slow. It's, it's whatever. It's whatever he wants because his pleasure would like is what really matters to me. Yeah. Through communication, you know. What if he tells you? Before you pound me, I need you to help me douche because I can't reach back there. Oh, I mean, douching is such a, such a. But would you get him apart, it, and then run away, or would you stay there and guide till everything's clean? Just trying to see what type of guy you are. You That's know what? If he really needs like the emotional support, I'll be there. You know, I can close my nose. I can hold his hand. Yeah. I'll probably just be by the door, hold his hand as he, you know, does the thing. Okay. And then, like, yeah, I'll do that. Are you okay? I see who you are. And are, you, like- are you very, do you consider yourself more a pleaser or do you want to be pleased? I would say I'm more of, like, a pleaser. Um, I definitely really take into consideration, like, what the other person is, like, feeling before, like, what, how, how they're feeling. And then I'll act, I'll act before that or I'll act after that, yeah. 
my God, this man is perfect, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what everyone wants to hear, a man who's going to listen, who's going to communicate, who's yeah. going to be considerate, who's going to see you, who's going to... What's your um, race, by the way? Um, I'm Filipino. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> gives us the fantasy she's a pleasing woman she's gonna be a woman who's on her knees oh yeah to provide for the man yeah oh okay <laughs> but but do you also know how to play the role whenever your man tells you baby tonight i want to be the one that's on my knees are you going to be able to dominate too oh yeah oh yeah i mean it's it's i play the alpha like outside of the bedroom so i mean if i just have to like bring that into the bedroom it's not that hard oh okay what if your your man gets fired from his job and he needs you to support him for half a year? Half a year. Um, <laughs> you know what? We'll talk about it. We'll figure a plan out. Um, we'll think of solutions. Um, Very and sure. if he Very if he really if he really can't get a job, you know what? I'm gonna give you six months because Easy last life. thing I want is a leech. You know, like even if I love this person to death, like if it's if it's come to a point where it's just becoming so draining to even like try and keep this person afloat, then what's the point? I you know? see him doing like a PowerPoint presentation. Like this is how we're going to get you back into the world. <laughs> of working. And this day with a little pointer. And here is what you're going to do. And tomorrow you have to wake up at this time and go uh, pick up trash by the sidewalk. Uh -huh. Very that energy from you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, would like to, I would like to really quickly add that Salvador is watching and he said that you are very cute and that you seem oh. adorable. Oh, oh, thank you, Sal. I, something tells me that Sal will like you to be on your knees and he will, oh my God. <laughs> he, he will, he will give you the experience and the fantasy that you needed. So this is your opportunity right now. Tell me, tell us and tell Sal why you would be the man for him. Well, I am very in touch with my emotions. I'm not afraid to be vulnerable. And um, I'm someone that just loves very deeply, cares very deeply. And um, you will always get the truth from me. There's no way of me like hiding who I am or I can't lie. Like there's no way for me to lie. Um, and yeah, what's I mean, I'm a pretty good. What's your zodiac sign, baby? Um, so my big three, I'm a Capricorn, um, Scorpio moon, Gemini rising. Oh, something tells me that you're very loyal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a very. Do you consider yourself loyal or, or, or have you ever cheated on anybody? Oh, no, no. I'm very much like one, once I'm attracted to one person, everything else shuts off. Do you own a tuxedo? Um, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what was a tuxedo for? <laughs> Are we planning the wedding? Are we planning the wedding? No, because a, a true man always has a good tux ready to go. It just oh, that's a good that's a good observation. This is true. A, a, a classy, sophisticated man will have a suit in his closet. Holler, holler. Do, do you have a suit? Yes, I do. It's zipped up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Is it, is it designer or did you get it at the local Walmart? Um, it's, it's a it's an ASOS purchase, but I'm planning to upgrade like down the line. I love the ASOS. The ASOS is good. Okay, okay. Well, but then I'm ready. It for Amber Crombie because that's what you wanted. They they produced it and then now it's in your closet. Now, <laughs> when you're in the bedroom, are you? Do you like to cuddle? Do you like to make out? Like, what's your favorite thing to do? I love making out. Like I could probably do it for like an hour and a half, two hours, even. <laughs> like, <laughs> get blisters. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I mean, I mean, it's a part of the experience. Why? Why not? But I enjoy like making out and cuddling. But I think the making out part is really, especially do you when not yeah. Eat broccoli, or do you like uh, lo mein with chicken? Ooh, probably. Mm, uh, Probably lo mein with chicken, I would say. I'm, a, I'm more of like a chicken person. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Salvador came through and said, oh my God, I love making out too. Oh my God. <laughs> making me blush. Oh my God. <laughs> now, Christian, would you travel to go see Salvador in, to San Diego? I believe he was in San Diego. 
Um, yeah, I, I've been planning on like visiting California in August. So if I do, I know you, who to hit up. You give me very LA vibes. Like I feel like that is <laughs> like, be really. I think you, I honestly I think you should go to LA. You should meet up with Salvador. Y'all should go out to eat or go on a little date or something. Go see the sunset. Have some chips and uh, what did you say you wanted to drink? Um, soda, oh. but you know what? We'll try red wine. We'll do red wine. Okay, some red wine. Okay, out oh, there we go. I like that. Good girl. She listens. <laughs> a little red wine. Um, disconnect for a little bit. Remember, you you work hard. You 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 do what you need to do. You're a responsible person. So you you owe it to yourself when you have these little adventures to have a little fun, have a little wine, disconnect for a little bit. Um, let a let a man make you feel good. Let a man kiss you. Let a man touch you where do you like to be touched oh uh, mm, i like by my ways i think i really enjoy when a man comes in and just like wraps his whole like arm around me i feel feels really nice the neck i get a little i get a little hesitant about i don't know why but the waist is like my spot okay. think, yeah <laughs> this man has an issue with the neck okay don't touch him on let's talk <laughs> that tell us your trauma <laughs> <laughs> when you're young with the neck i don't know i just i don't know I, I it just makes me i'm like why are you choking me like do you love me do you are you do you want me to, do you want to see me suffer like that's what goes but you know but head. you know there is people out there who they show love through the like through choking yeah, through choking yeah it's not oh, okay I, but i understand where you're coming from where you can to you yeah. it can read as not a loving act but there are people that to them it, it reads as a loving act. But you know what? Okay. I completely understand you because I I, I completely didn't even re uh, realize till right now that you said it. I don't like choking either. Mm, okay. I okay. I don't like being okay. choked. And you know what the funny thing is, is I hate, hate, hate to be spanked. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I, hate it. I don't know what it is, but I hate it. And when they spank me, I will literally like I will chew them out, and I would be like, "Do not spank me." And sometimes I'll yeah. tell them, "Don't spank me," and they'll do it again. And I'm like, "Get oh, out! No. Get out! Oh. Over it!" Oh, yeah. But but you know, those are that is those are things that you communicate. Yeah. And people have to also be respectful and take it in, because you know that's what it that's what that's what it gives. But what if your partner likes to be spanked? Would you spank him? Well, that depends how hard. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Communication with communication, everything is. This man gives me that he watches the Notebook with a box of Kleenex. <laughs> What's your favorite romantic comedy that's going to tell us a lot about you? Oh God. Um. Oh my God. He I don't remember the name, but I know it stars Rachel McAdams. That's all I remember. It's, is it the notebook? I don't, I don't know if it's the, I know she started, an, she started another one, but it's not the notebook. Okay, okay. Joella, the, Joella, the, the psychic strikes again. <laughs> Joella, the psychic. The notebook, definitely. It Probably in the notebook. notebook. Okay, yeah. I guess we have to ask this question too, before we wrap all of this up. Because I've asked everyone, I have to be cross the, fair across the board. Is it giving turtle? No, the hood came off when I was seven years old, so oh, she's that, not turtle. That, I know, with well, not my choice, but you know, like that, that. there's nothing wrong with that either. Some people you love know. a girl with no hood. I don't got a hood, but I, think I love a hood though. Came from because you waited till you were seven years old, and they snip and they it hurt you, and that's why when they choke you. It brings you back when you were little seven, and they they they, they sliced your your cucumber. That's you know it. what that, that makes sense. That's where it comes from. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you make that connection. <laughs> so what you need to do is get a mirror, a compact, and look at it and say, "I'm sorry for what happened to you, little Timmy." But <laughs> now you know. Talk to it, Christy. Call it Christy. Christy, I'm so sorry what happened to you, <laughs> and I know you lost your hat. But I'm, I, I, you're, you're, you're a whole new, you're like a butterfly now. You're a caterpillar that turned into a butterfly, and we're gonna go do some damage. Okay? Period. And you, you, you'll get over. You'll be into choking in, in no time. All right, I'll do that before I go to bed. Okay, well, Miss Christian, something tells me that you will find. You love. will. 
I, I this one out of all of Thank them. You. Thank you. Do you something tells me that out of everyone that came on the channel tonight, something tells me that Christian is really fully gonna, prepared for love. You know, I feel like oh, he's gonna get married. Screw the boy, he's gonna go straight to marriage. <laughs> I'm a psychic. I may not be the best, but I'm very good. And oh then, no, I believe it. Miss Christian, can you tell us you're single, right? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay, so in the world right now, because you know how the gays are, it's Pride Month. Let's keep it real. Do you have friends with benefits on rotation available and ready? No, I do not. Oh. I don't even have grinder. Oh. Very really? close to your mother. Very close, so, yes. Yeah, so this man needs to also, you know, be in touch with his family and have that connection with his family. And also, I feel that he's going to be very good friends with your mom. Oh. Well, I'm excited because my mom's my best friend, so. Now I turn into Big Sky Medium. Yeah, she did. <laughs> 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 this woman turned into Teresa. Oh my God! Okay, but you're are you celibate? You're not celibate, are you? I'm not celibate. No, I'm not celibate. Okay. Well, so, yeah, until I find love, then it, I'm yeah. Okay, okay. So you're you're very the boy who you go to the library and you want to meet someone at the library. Ooh. Yeah, I I prefer like a real life connection versus like the social media like apps. Okay. We're here for it. We live for it. The women, <laughs> the women believes in love. Okay, Miss uh, Christian, I believe that your man is watching this video right now. It could be <laughs> Sarah, or it could be somebody else, but he's watching right now, and he will be sliding into your DMs. Last question: Are you into the big girl? Oh, I do not discriminate. I, I love all sizes. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So you would be into a, a dating a big girl, a big boy. Yeah, I I dated a big boy. He is gonna date a big boy. That man that's coming is is he's gonna be two hundred and eight pounds. That's what I'm feeling. Two hundred eight pounds. He's gonna have a goatee. He's gonna like <laughs> gonna wear. He wears basketball hats, and, and he's he's very in in touch with his feelings, just like you. Okay, oh, and also tell the, the girls want me to ask. They're letting me know in the comments. Are you? into the dolls have you ever been into someone like a trans woman or a trans man um i have not i have such a deep respect for trans women especially growing up a lot of like the people that have helped me like grew up have been trans women so um i see i see trans women more as like my goddesses my angels not necessarily okay. in a sexual we love that. We, yeah. i love that answer that's a good answer we love that okay yeah. girl. You got all the tea that you needed to get. We asked this man all we could. We're gonna keep uh, connected. What? What is something else coming in, Joella? I something came in. <laughs> I had my that's so Raven moment. Oh, what happened? This man that that that's gonna be your husband. You've already met him, and you're gonna run into him again in two weeks. Oh God! At Taco Bell. <laughs> It might have to okay. Be okay. Off a little, maybe I want Taco Bell, so it gets mixed, confused. But it's gonna be a restaurant. It's gonna be a fast food place. And you say, "Hey," and you're gonna be like, "Oh my God, Joella said I was gonna meet you." He'll be wearing the basketball, the the the, the, cap, the cap. Yeah, well, no, that's him. I had a little message come through, and it told me that the man that you're gonna fall in love with, he's not two oh eight. He's actually two eighty. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good size difference. <laughs> It'll be the best size. It was Christian. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone, please, if you're watching this live stream right now and you feel like, and listen, this goes out to everyone out there. You never know. You might just be the per the person that is the perfect match for Christian. You might be <laughs> the person that you both can make each other happy. You both can make each other feel loved. You both can be there for each other. You just never know. Please work up the courage and slide up into Christian's DMs right now. Yes, this is a beacon of love. I'm telling you right now, if you like him, regardless of, 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 of what you look like, regardless of where you're coming from, Christian might just be the man for you. Slide up in the DMs. Take your shot. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And keep us posted and let us know if you end up finding any romantic connection. We would love to know. 
Yes, I will. Thank you so much again for the opportunity. Thank you, my love, for joining us tonight. We live for you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Thank you both. Oh, my God. He's so adorable. I, I feel so good about this one. I really feel that we we set this man up to find his man. He's going to find it. I, something tells me that if he doesn't find love Sal with Sal, Sal is still going to punch him out. Shout out to Miss Chaz Mercado, honey. We have Miss Chaz Mercado in the house. She said, oh, my God, I love Joella Puss. That face killed me. Joella, did you, <laughs> did you get another message from the, the, from the great beyond? I did, but it was not for him. It was something from someone else. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna take my high blood pressure. Not okay. They told you to take your blood pressure. No, oh, my great. Do you have the little machine. Do you have the machine? She said, "Baby, you gotta take your pills. Don't forget." So while I said, <laughs> "Shout out to Miss Lauren Lowe. Miss Lauren Lowe. She said, "Joella, I am living. Come through the BBW Raven." <laughs> That's so Raven, honey. Shout out to Vibes714. We got Miss Vibes714. Oh my God, today, today was fun. I loved it. And you know what? I feel that it was so much better. Like I said, it's just going to keep getting better because we're figuring out what we like, what's gonna, what works for us. And I got some ideas for next uh, Thursday. Yes. And please, if you're watching this video and you are feeling like maybe you're a little nervous, you're a little shy and... Trust me, there's something, if you feel it in your heart, come on the show. If you want to be a contestant for Drag Me to Love Episode 3, which will be airing next Thursday live right here on YouTube, please slide up into my DMs. You can even slide up into Joella's DMs and let us know if you if you want to come on the show. Because let me tell you, a lot, everyone tonight, they're going to have people slide up in the DMs. I really do think these people are going to make, they're going to make some matches and they're going to start having conversations with people out there. Uh, let me give a shout out really quickly to Ms. Vibe714. And she says, I'm down to top Christian. <gasps> oh, something tells me Christian is going to find a man. Something tells me Christian is going to be the one to find a man. He's, but not only find a man, Christian is going to get married. I think Christian could be the first drag me to love marriage. <laughs> Shout out to trigonometry, honey. We have Miss Trigonometry. And she says, today was so fun. Thanks, beauties. Yes, Miss Trigonometry. Also, Miss Greenbird 555. She says, this was an interesting live. <gasps> Miss Greenbird, let us know. Has anyone slid into your DMs? We would love to know the tea. If you ever want to come back on the channel and you want to fill us in on what's going on in your love life, in the love world, in the love department, we would love to have you on Miss Greenbird 555. Because I know something tells me they slid into the Greenbird's messages. The Tea Time channel says... I want to invest in this show. Lush, DM me. I DM'd you. I want to invest in the show. Let's talk about this. This is going to be huge. Oh, my God. We would love that. We really would. We 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 want to figure out a way to make this big, to continue to amplify, make it bigger, make it, you know, make it more fun, make it more interesting. I think we have a really solid idea. Um, we, we want to be the, the first gay reality show by hosted by two drag queens who really turn it up and drag you to love. That would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Honey, we have the idea right here. And also to all the networks out there, World of Wonder and VH1, and uh, all, don't steal this idea from us. No. Don't steal this idea from us. Shout out to the Latin blend. We have the Latin blend. She said, Joella gave me Walter Mercado vibes, remix queen. queen. <laughs> No, honestly, if there is any major um, um, companies out there that don't steal this idea from us, bring us on, include us. We have so many ideas. We are beyond talented and qualified. You know, we're waiting. We're waiting. Slide into the DMs. Wow. Shout out to Ms. Gloris Gonzalez de Todo Un Poco. And she said, Lasha, te amo, me gusta este show, pero me gusta más cuando vas a la calle con la Divina Garza. I love oh. you. Oh, this woman wants me out in the street. Being a <laughs> and you have no idea what we're saying. That's why you don't like it. 
<laughs> I will be I will be shooting some videos with Divine Garza soon, baby. But for now, drag me. Drag me to love is here. Oh, look, the Tea Time channel said they stole T.S. Madison's show. That's not right. That's not right. If if you if if don't steal this show from us, include us. Include us. Bring us on board. We want to be, we're ready to be executive producers. We're ready to be hosts. We're ready to be talent. We're ready. We have the talent. We have the ideas. Um, and we are more than beyond qualified. Honestly, truly. Shout out to Ms. Vibe714. She said, Joella, please let us know if aliens are coming. What do you think, Joella? Are aliens coming? The aliens have always been here, Vibes. So I, I, I get these visions at night that telling me everyone's looking up, but we're not looking down. They're built, we have not gotten to the bottom of the deepest crevices of the ocean floor. And in that ocean floor, there is an office desk with aliens typing and looking at us, what we're doing up there. And they are related to the octopuses. <laughs> like, that's not <on> mental. <laughs> <laughs> Very real. Greenbird555 said, yes, I would love to share what some have shared with me. Oh, we want to bring you. Oh, oh, share it to me now. Send it to me in the DMs, baby. I'm ready to see. It sounds like um, Greenbird, he got some, some cute little photos and things. Let me see Salvador Vadillo Rios, who was contestant number nine at this point. I don't know who, what contestant was. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. I had lots of fun. Thank you, Salvador. You made our night, baby. You were such a gem. We loved having you on. Um, I can't wait to see all the fun that you have because so many boys, so many men, so many people are going to reach out. At, they're going to fall in love with you because you are very easy to fall in love with, I feel. We have Mr. Hex, which I believe is Hector, right? This is Hector, who yeah. was also on the show, coming in just to give us a little a little sh sign of support. Thank you, Hector. Something tells me that they're going to slide up into the Hector's DMs, too. Hector was giving it to me. Hector was giving... Everybody thinks that Hector was supposed to be my man. I think, honestly, you guys would be a great couple. And I think if you actually got to know Luscious, not the, the drag Luscious... I really think you guys would be a great couple. And he got cakes and peas. And, and yeah. he comes to the valley a lot. That's why I said, when Hector, when you come to Progreso, hit us up. I literally live five minutes from uh, where you're going. Everyone and, is telling us that we need to trademark the show. And I agree, but we need the funds. We need to figure well, out. Well, automatically it's trademark. There's not another Drag Me to Love. So the the when you've uploaded your first video, Drag Me to Love, that's your trademark. Now you can go above that and go have extra protection, and then go uh, get by a the name. By the name. Yes, but it's already copyrighted. But if you really want to, just send a little check to the office. It takes a long time to come back, but that's just to protect it, I guess. We need to, how much? How much does that cost? Like, because I I remember I trademarked my name. I own the name Luscious Massacre, but I don't even, it was so long ago. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I bought it. And They're I like have bucks or like less or maybe the most a hundred, but it, I don't even think it's that high. Oh, so it's, it's not that expensive. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how much I paid, but I own my name. And I, I, I uh, because I knew, I knew that this is something that I needed to protect. And, uh, but I agree. I think drag me to love. We need to trademark because it's just such a good name and it just, it makes so much sense for the show. Miss tea time channel. I will be messaging you. I'm going to check my DMS baby as soon as we're done so we can talk and we can, we can get in, in cahoots. Let me see miss Christian Montiveros. Oh, miss Christian. She was just, uh, she was our last contestant. She said, thank you so much for the opportunity again, angels. Oh, thank you, Christian, my love. If you guys were feeling Christian, something tells me Christian is going to find love. You can slide into the DMs. We also have Miss Angela Hart. Miss Angela Hart. She said, hi, Lush and Joella. The dolls aren't battling anymore. It was never a true battle or war since I was silenced. Also, I want my $5 back from last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> What happened? The girls are battling, going Mija through the block. <laughs> Mija, I, 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 Mija was messaging me earlier. She has, I don't even know if she's still watching, but 
Miha battling with the girl. She said, I want my $5 back. I'm going to tell Miha to send them to you, baby, because Miha uh, <laughs> got beat with Miha, girl. I didn't do nothing to anybody. <laughs> Vibe 714. We got Miss Vibe 714. She, she said, Lush. I have no idea. I literally have not gotten a word on anything. No. I don't know what's going on. We Everything has changed with the fact that HBO Max doesn't really, it's not a thing anymore. Now it's just called Max. So there was big changes within the company and we're waiting to hear word. We don't know what the development is. We haven't gotten a yes. We haven't gotten a no. We just don't know. Holly, Holly. Holly, Holly. Holly, Holly. Sister, any last thoughts? Any last words? Did you have fun tonight? Oh, I loved it. It was so fun. And God, you really picked out the hot guys this time. Cause, uh... You know, the funny thing is, is I, I actually didn't pick out anybody. I I wanted, I, I made sure that I actually wanted to start tonight with a doll. But mm -hmm. the dolls never came in. So I, I, I had to start with boys. But today, I... Listen, I know what it feels like to feel like a person who um, someone would not deem worthy of being on a reality show. And my, under my supervision and under my control, I always want to make sure that I give an opportunity to those people that don't ever get opportunities. So when a doll comes in, when I see a big person come in, when I see someone coming in that I know that, you know what, if they were on The Bachelor, they would not give them a shot, I'm going to give them a shot. And uh, <laughs> you bitch, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm not trying to make you fall asleep. I'm not trying to bore you. I'm being serious. <laughs> I I, I want to give an opportunity <laughs> to everyone. But these are the boys that showed up. These are the first boys that came in. I added them as they were coming in, you know. Today we had, um, how many dolls that we had? We just had Selena. What two? Jessica. La, la, la Enferma. I think she was considered. Oh, La Enferma. We consider her a doll, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I challenge everyone out there, please, please, please. Listen, we talk about inclusivity and diversity, and then we have opportunities. We also have to rise up to the occasion. I want to see all kinds of people come on the show. Because that's what I stand for. Everyone getting their shot. Everyone deserves love. Regardless of what who you are, what you look like. <coughs> Damn, I'm over here choking on my own bullshit. But no, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Everyone deserves a shot. Holly, holly. Everyone deserves an opportunity. And I want everyone to please, please, please sign up for the show, come on as a contestant on the show, and come and feel the fantasy on the show, bitch. Yes! Because let me tell you, me and Joella, we're going to take care of you. Are we going to roast you a little bit? Maybe. But it's all <laughs> it's all in good fun, and we're going to have fun. And guess what? You you have nothing to lose, and you have everything to win, because you could, you, could you could win the man of your life. You could win the man of your dreams. Matthew said, I want to be on. Who else wants to be on? Come on. Send me a DM right now so I can sign you up. Listen, I had contestants on here. Some of them never showed up. That's another thing. Some people never showed up. And I messaged them. I sent the link. Some of them never showed up. Like this boy right here. Oh, I'm looking at some fine ass boy that wanted to be on the show and he didn't show up, honey. Ugh. Okay. Any last words for the girls, Joelta? Before you uh, choke, make sure you grow. Okay. <laughs> the lady Joelta. The lady Joelta. Before you choke, make sure you grow. <laughs> Get me out. Oh. My God, we did over two hours on Drag Me to Love. Let's de drag. When we're done, we do this. You know what? I'm actually, I'm not lying. Oh, oh. oh. I have been dying to take off this damn earring. It's so heavy, my poor ears. 
Oh! Drag me, drag me out of love. Drag oh! me out of love. Drag me out of love. Drag me out of love. A round of applause for everyone who showed up and, and put their heart on the line tonight. Because it takes balls, honey, big balls. It does. Like Hector's like Hector's big balls. It takes big Hector sized balls to come oh. out here. Oh. <laughs> Drag me out of love. Drag me out of love. Drag us out of love. Next time I'm gonna wear a big wig like this and I'm gonna be in full drag, bitch. Oh yes. Let's try to go beyond Texas drag. Let's go. Let's go to Chromatica. No, we'll do it. We'll do it next Thursday. I I drag me to love. And we'll come up in full drag. Now, remember, you guys, we also do have another show that we have on Sunday. It's called Entering the VR World. That's on Sundays. We will be returning back into the virtual reality world on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. You guys know, listen, we go live every day. At least I know I will be going live every day. I know Joella, sometimes she might not be able to, but we're going to push to be live streaming every day on this channel. But on Sunday, we come back with entering the VR world. And we, need to come up. The theme song. <laughs> was, we were working on the theme song earlier. Well, how did it go? You came up with it. <laughs> Entering the VR world, the VR world, the VR world. Entering the VR world. That's Ent gonna be the. <laughs> that's gonna be the theme song for the show. Let me play the one. Let, let me play the one. Uh, we need to figure out how to get the show. Like we need, we need help with production. We need people who really know how to work all this stuff. So we can we can make it look all pretty, but honestly, I love the the theme song. Oh, honey, the little gunshot, <laughs> Cupid, Cupid shooting you down, was fierce to me. <laughs> Oh, my God. You guys, before we head out, we're not done yet, but before we finish, please, 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 it'll mean so much to us if you guys can support us by giving us a little gay homosexual like, please to give us a little thumbs up. What you can do is if you're watching on your phone or on your computer, there's a chat, right? You're, you're on the chat right now. You can press the little X so you can exit the chat and then you see the thumbs up. Hit the little like in the thumbs up and then right under the like, you can hit the live chat and return back so you can follow the chat. What that does is the more likes that we get on this video, the more that this video will be shared, the more that this video will be recommended by YouTube and we will reach a bigger audience and we will get shared and more people will see us. And that'll help us um, to continue to grow the show. We want to reach as many people as possible to really make this show become a huge success. So please, everyone watching, there's there's over a thousand people who have tuned in tonight at this point. Please, please, let's see if we can get up to a thousand likes. I know that's a big shot, but let's pull for a thousand likes tonight. If you enjoyed, if we made you laugh, if we if we made you cry if we made you feel something tonight and if you loved miss shirley temple over here please give us a little gay like drag me drag me out of love drag me out of <laughs> love. <laughs> goodbye <laughs> the lady joe l top pause the lady joe l top pause Oh, tonight was cute. I had a lot of fun tonight. I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed the live stream. Um, it was fun. We had a lot of cute boys come on. We had a lot of cute girls come on. Um, and something tells me that love is out there. And I would like to take this moment right now to just also say that I am also looking for love. And if you're out there... If you feel like, you know what, that's the woman, the man, the creature for me, slide up into my DMs. And I'm being serious. I'm being serious right now. If you feel like, you know what, 
that woman is that woman is a catch. Because let me tell you, I'm a catch, baby. I'm a successful, um, educated, smart, talented individual, and I have a lot to offer too. So don't play these games. You'd be lucky. You'd be lucky to date somebody like me, bitch. Let me tell you. And so if you want to slide up in the DMs for me, bitch. <laughs> slide up in the DMs, honey, because I'm looking for love too. Honey, and I'm a catch. I'm a fat ass catch, but she's a catch regardless. Oh, my God. Tonight was so much fun. Tonight was ridiculous. The girly, girly girls are dragged up in drag. Show us your peach. I am not showing my peach. That's one thing. I'm I am not an OnlyFans girl personally for me, but I do love when other people do it. I love to see it. I love to support it, you know, here and there. I live for it, but I personally don't do it myself. It's too much for me. I don't think I can do it. But anyways. I'm going to head out, you guys. I'm going to go get me some food. My mom made me some chicken salad. So I'm salivating because I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Oh. Would you date a man who was on OnlyFans? That's a good question. Could I date a man who was on OnlyFans? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, mm, mm. oh, I think I could. It, it it would be it. Listen, I would have to. There would there would need to be communication, and I would need to truly be able to feel that I have trust and loyalty. I'm not a monogamist. I'm, I don't expect. I guess these are things that you kind of play by ear in the relationship. Um, but I mean, I don't think I care. I would care. I don't, I could, I could, I don't think I would mind. I'm very open. I'm a very futuristic girl. I'm very open to, you know, creating the relationship that works for us. You know, um, I am a woman who lives in the future. So, I definitely wouldn't get want to get, you know, traditional things are nice, but it doesn't necessarily mean we have to be having a traditional relationship. Who knows? Maybe we can make up our own rules as we go along the way. But as long as there's deep, deep communication and there's deep loyalty and trust, who knows? But there is a part of me that would want a man who who tells me, you know what, I don't need to be going anywhere else. I don't need to be doing anything else. I would also like that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with me saying that I would like that either. Who knows? Am I a jealous person? I don't think I am, honestly. I don't think I would be. <laughs> Sykes said, I want to be their only fan, honey. Okay. You guys, today was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please make sure you like this video, comment on this video, subscribe on this video, turn on the notification on this video. I love you guys so much. Before I go, I just want to say, if you're going through the gigs, do not allow the gigs to go through you. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow.